everybody, my name is Frankie McDonald. You're listening to Simcast with Chrissy Meyer from Frankie McDonald. I want my baby back, 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 baby Nick Gers. Um, I don't know names. I don't even remember my mom's name. If you even tell me my mom, I wouldn't remember her name. Like, I'm really bad with names. How do you look? Will you say my name again? I don't even know if you heard me right. Nick Gers. Thank you. Why? Why do you have to call in like that? Why do you have to call in like that? I, that's, that's not a good caller. It's a horrible, horrible caller. I, I'm going to play you a little song. Nick Gers. Oh, Nick. Me Chinese, me play jokes, me put pee pee in your cup. What's up, Vivek? Hey. Whoa! Look at What's up, guys? I was craving a Slurpee. <laughs> Can I get my change back correctly? You know, we'll. Uh... I feel like a lot of us are conservative in the way that we just want to be able to say the n-word and it not really matter. <laughs> that's like, all i want come on <laughs> is that so like, much to ask can't i just say the n-word does that make me a bad person <laughs> <laughs> come on guys um violet's oh. a huge fan of yours she loves sensor she tv mm -hmm. oh great i do i she, love your show big fan she, all she wants is to be able to day. say the n-word but that's the only thing that's holding her back in life yeah. Oh, it just, you go like this. <laughs> I'm taking the dog. Dumbass. I'm taking the dog. <laughs> He's just happy to have the attention. Aww. He's just happy to have the attention. Got tired of my scheming. enjoys cold beer and hot music. He says that uh, he and his mom don't see eye to eye on his love life, and he claims that his job has cost him several relationships. Please welcome Robert Faggot. <laughs> Faggot is rather an odd name. Yeah, you know, it is an odd name.
Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Welcome. Welcome. I hope everybody's had a lot to drink today. Oh, God. The accent is spiring out of control. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, boy. We've got a hoot of a panel coming on for you, don't we? Just so many fine lasses from all the corners of the internet. Some are commentators, some are good at astrology, some are my friends, some are comedians, and, well, who knows why I'm here. Before I bring on the lovely panel of lasses, I've got a comedy show to promote for you. Yes, just a wee, just one wee more show before I spring forth a life into this world. (laughs) Guys, come see me. Holy cow, this show is this Friday, like one, two, three, four, five days away. Uh, I will be headlining in Grantville, Pennsylvania at the Laughing Stock Comedy Club. This is near Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, Probably other towns as well. But come on out if you're in the Pennsylvania area this Friday, March 22nd at 8.30 p.m. Laughing Stock Comedy Club. It's going to be an absolute bacchanal, as they say. Um, I believe my good friends, Keanu Thompson and Gino Bisconti, will also be at this show. So one more chance to catch me before. uh, And again, like I've said, if I my water breaks at the show and it gets on you, let's say if you're sitting in the front row, uh, drinks on me. So. I think it pays. It pays to just come on out. Um, Get your tickets now. It's going to be so much fun. Yes, indeedy do. Okay. Oh, what's that? You want me to bring on the panel of lasses? Oh, for sure. For sure. We got Lydia, Sour Patch Lids. Oh, we got Jaleesa Danielle, Keanu Thompson. Mm. Oh, we little Lila Hart, don't we? (laughs) <laughs> hello hello chrysanthemum ah hello keanu ah oh, yes hello <laughs> oh do we like us better like this or it's a little bit widened out like that <laughs> the other way i like the other way we like this yeah, nice i couldn't help but notice a couple of you aren't wearing green i only own black clothing <laughs> it's very dark mostly it's always black um, hello, Jalissa. I don't know if this is your first Simpcast. This is not. I've been on before. It's not. It's no. not. Uh, mm-hmm. I just have what you call um, a, a retarded pregnant memory. <laughs> and um, But I love this because usually Lila is the only one on here talking about numerology uh, oh. and astrology. So. Oh, okay. I love your post on Twitter. Thank you. I'm glad you get it. I'm glad you understand. And remember, Chrissy, last time she was on, we found out her and Brittany had the same birthday. Mm, mm-hmm. No way. So what is that, February 13th, 12th? 12th, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, because I said I never, I haven't met anyone with my birthday except her. I think Ooh. In person, well, like at least. You're a, yeah. Do you feel like you're a classic, what are you, that's an Aquarius? Aquarius. And then, what do you feel like is more, and bef- we won't talk about this for long, guys. Don't worry. Yeah. What do you think is more... <laughs> truthful numerology or astrology well i think they're this like they go hand in hand kind of thing I use them yeah. together so i think because oh, i talked like- to you about it i talked to you about you being a scorpio and why sex is not a you know it's not taboo for you because scorpio no. is sex yeah so oh unless your placenta is in yeah. the wrong <laughs> spot and then they tell you not to do it <laughs> Okay, I'll stop doing that accent. <laughs> no, don't. Please don't. Drink. Okay, I can't stop. I won't stop. <laughs> can't stop. I won't stop. <laughs> um, yes, you're right. But Scorpio, there's always like a toxic, just like with any personality or, or any strength and weakness, you always have like the toxic version of yourself and then the mm-hmm. healthy version of that uh, mm-hmm. characteristic. Yeah. Just got to balance yourself out. You know, we're all different. Aquarius is weird. So people attack us all the time, you know. I'm sure Brittany gets a lot of hate. Yeah, I have an Aquarius you. moon. Aquarians are oh, okay. creative. They can be seen as like flighty and flaky and uh, very aloof. Almost like, yeah, <laughs> aloof, non committal. The forgetfulness is a big thing. When you say I, you have 
I'm always like, what did, where did I park? I what? heard a quote on uh, Vanderpump Rules. It's a very highbrow um, program on Bravo <laughs> television. It's okay, um, one watch. of the cast uh, <laughs> members was saying, if everybody understood their um, star signs and each other's star signs, then there would literally be like world peace. I think that's yeah. what she was saying in her Ooh, idiot terms. Pretty much, yeah. But yeah, if, you, if we all understood each other and why we are the way we are. And I was like, that's pretty poignant for Bravo. It's actually... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah but good really luck sad. trying yeah. to get men on board with that. <laughs> yes, the boy run media will never be into astrology. <laughs> exactly. we, we have to mention something important, and that is how long Lydia's hair has gotten. Wow. Yeah, I was just wow. thinking. I haven't cut my hair in like three years. Wow. It's wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah, pregnancy hormones make it grow like crazy too, and it hasn't fallen out yet. So wow. this is looking great. That's Chrissy. what people have warned me about. People are like Chrissy. Just wait and see. Your hair is going to fall out. But they also said that about getting COVID. And yeah, mine didn't. Yeah. And why <laughs> is my hair falling out? I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Nor do I have COVID. This is ridiculous. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's so much going on. I have 100 million tabs up. But before we get to it, Lydia, oh God, it's been way too long. I know we're in a... We're in a very cool mom's group chat on Twitter uh, where one day it's vaccine talk. The other day it's a picture of the inside of a dirty diaper and we all have to discern <laughs> if it's normal or not. <laughs> I'm just like, but why has this happened? Does God hate me or something? <laughs> yeah. The stars uh, do. It's, it's like mess. reading yeah, the tea leaves. It's like, yeah. can you read a fortune with a, what is yes, this? What do you, I think you it's can. It's like a Rorschach print, you know, but it's a Rorschach plot. <laughs> That's yeah. right. <laughs> what do you see in this dirty time? I see my what father. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> um, Lydia, what is new? Catch the people up if they have not been following you closely. Baby's new. Loving it. Five months now. And we're having a great time. We're loving being parents. Um, it's a blast. And I would recommend it to almost literally anyone <laughs> almost, almost not everyone if you don't not want literally. to don't do it but it's no. awesome i'm really enjoying it how highly would recommend you, on a scale from one to ten how would you describe like the pain of the birth part i'm starting to think about that so i had an epidural and i was grateful it let me tell what was kind of going on and it let me like not freak out so I appreciated it. And I had a really good experience. I had good nurses who told me exactly what to do. And I did everything they said. And we were great. We were fine. So, Aww. yeah, I really highly recommend modern medicine. Um, I thought I was going to do a birth center. That didn't pan out. I thought I was going to go natural. And then I was like, mm, I don't think I will. <laughs> and it came out great. So I was really happy. Okay. Um, I have Chrysanthemum I have a... is German and she can deal with a lot of pain. And I keep telling her, I'm because she would just was like, I think I could just do it, which she probably could. But I keep telling her, I want, I want you to have the legal maximum limit of drugs. <laughs> yes. I, you should just, just make it easy on yourself, for Christ's sake. Yeah. I had to, yeah. <laughs> Filling out this hospital form, like, what do you want as part of your birth plan? They're like, we have balls available and, uh, like, yeah, like yoga balls. And I'm like, can I'm putting down, like, I just want to get by on racial slurs, you know, like, I <laughs> can I say the N word? Why did I go first? Or will plan. the nurses exit the room? No, <laughs> I don't okay. So. If I call my husband the N word, uh, <laughs> probably fine. <laughs> Right. What are they gonna do? <laughs> they can't, can't kick you out. <laughs> oh, that's such a funny premise. <laughs> right. it's it's head. Frank's there, like it's it's Tourette's. I'm sorry. It's so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she never does. She's literally never said this in her life. Right. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, cool. Well, good to see you, Lydia. Jalisa. Is it Jalisa yeah. or Jalisa? Jalisa. Jalisa. Catch the people up on what's been new with you lately. Um, well, I mean, I quit teaching because public school is terrible. Okay. Um, yeah, they, they didn't appreciate you. Yeah, they didn't. Um, and then, you know, just, you know, turning to astrology and teaching people about their birth charts, their who they are, why they do what they do. Uh, and um, I just recently last month, I went up to Infowars and did an in interview with one of the producers and read his birth chart live. And talk to him about Rob? why. What happened? Was it Rob or was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Rob. Oh, we love yeah, Rob. Yeah. 
So he was, we were, we were locked in because he's all, you know, all understands too. And talking to him about why Alex Jones and Aquarius, like we're a day apart, our birthdays are a day apart. So that's why we speak the truth and then get chastised for it. You know, mm -hmm. this is, that's just what it is. So Someone's got to do it. I mean, I'm not scared to say it. Like, Y'all want me to say it? I'll say it. I'm going to get look, heat anyways. I mean, I'm going to get heat. I'm going to get the planets. I'm not in control of the planets. Like, you know? Sorry. Well, somebody has to. And I guess that's. that's Take it up with Uranus. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, cool. yeah. That's cool. Good to see you, Jalissa. That, wait, so your birthday is a day away from Alex Jones? Mm -hmm. He's the 13th? The 11th. 11th. The 11th. Right, because Lila, you always tell me he's an 11 because I'm an 11 too. Yes. <laughs> Which means, Chrissy, you're going to be the number one podcaster in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy Mary Studios. Mm -hmm. is yes. Amazing. Which Lila was just at. She's the first really guest I've had here at Chrissy Mary Studios. It was a delight and a treat so to, to have Lila here. Um, God, was it last week? Last weekend? Yes. And in my um my compound media uh uh video blog that I made, I'm gonna uh, have it premiere tomorrow. Ooh. So yes, it was Bring Your Lila to Work Day um last <laughs> Monday, and she did all of the shows. It was a marathon day. <laughs> uh we <laughs> started bright and early at noon. No, we had to get on the train at like 10 and then yeah, five shows of Compound, then a stand-up show at Three Monkeys. Thanks and for that, Keanu, for saying all no, that. No, no. Oh, my gosh. Sheba loved you guys. So, oh, she knows you, Chrissy. But everybody, even after you guys left, like, everybody was just like, we loved them. <laughs> <laughs> so good. They were. Everyone was crying and screaming, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Yeah, so, Lila, you're back in Texas. Um, what is new with you? Anyway. I'm just, I'm back in Texas. Uh, nothing really. Just chilling. <laughs> just chilling. I'm just excited. Just living life like it's Yes, yes. Chilling. You're doing late night, Lila. Mm -hmm. um, it's yes. great. Well, I have a, you guys follow that YouTube channel as well, Late Night Lila. And go to latenightlila.com to see all the fun stuff. Do it. And I'm using your your bass. You gave me a bunch of bass pro shop swag when you were here, <laughs> including and I wish I could show it to you. It's up in the beans, the beans little area. Um, you gave me like these camo overalls <laughs> for the baby. I was like, yes, he's going to be a Carhartt dream. Yeah. Or when he goes hunting. Yeah. <laughs> And hunting the woodland creatures. Yes. And the, the, the shower was woodland creature themed. So, yes, exactly. <laughs> woodland creatures. Oh my goodness. Keanu, what's new with you? You just oh, finished yeah. the cooking stream. Yes. I stained Gino's favorite shirt because I was doing a Jackson Pollock joke. I, I was like, I had the little brush in the oil and i was like look it's a jackson poly and he's like ah. so other than that um i'll be at three monkeys tomorrow subscribe Me to too. yes yes i will also be there oh. and then it the show is friday chrissy uh yes friday yes. um in grantville pennsylvania at the laughing stock comedy club so i'm down if you uh yes, yes absolutely yes um and i thought i I'm sorry about the late notice, but I, uh, I don't mind at all. I'm not, I'm not responsible, but I'm so glad you're, you're not doing anything. You and Gino, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, and then I suppose, so that's Friday. Okay. Yes. I'll double check with him, but I'm sure. Okay. And, uh, it's perfect because I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday and I'll be like, look, I can, I can travel three hours to Pennsylvania and perform and come back. Right. And like, I'm pretty sure he'll be like, yeah. Can you drive or is your baby bump in the way? Uh, I mean, I drive to the gym every, every, <laughs> why are you week. still lifting over 10 pounds? Why? I do it every day. I did the, oh. I'm doing laundry. I'm moving stuff around. That little bub is coming early. Yeah. He's like, get me out of here. She's shaking me around. <laughs> she won't, she won't stop working so hard. He, I, he will be early. Also talk about the baby pool. 
Oh, yes. Well, oh my will gosh. Talk about it if you want. Yes. To. Yes. Um, we we will. We will have Gino come yeah. on and elaborate. But there mm-hmm. is a baby pool, Lydia. I don't know if you did that. Took advantage of this when you were giving birth, but um, yes. I don't care if you're a gambler or not. You can bet on this. This is like a good intro into gambling and you're just going to Venmo <laughs> Gino Bisconti, which is Keanu's betrothed. So he's very trustworthy. Um, $10 on Venmo with the date, weight and time. So you'll put the three things down and they'll go in order. So if you get the date, right? Like if three people get the date, right? It'll go on to the weight. Then if two people get the weight, oh. right? It'll go oh. on to the time. So the odds of someone having, the odds of multiple people having all three things in common are probably pretty low. I thought you had to get all three, and I was like, that seems crazy. That yeah, no impossible. one <laughs> No. <laughs> she, you know, takes it all. No. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> wouldn't do that. Like, that's the most ridiculous thing. You could, so it would be the closest person to, if, if, so if nobody gets the date, it's the closest to it. Then you tie break it to the next one. It's the closest to it. And if you need, again, then you do that one but i should tell the uh the ladies at the obgyn office about the baby pool see if they want to gamble (laughs) they probably don't i probably i've done a very good job of not uh telling them anything about me so (laughs) (laughs) oh it goes because i don't want them to like cancel the birth or something you know what i mean i don't want them to be like actually we called the hospital and your birth is canceled (laughs) not gonna happen (laughs) (laughs) Woo. <laughs> then you really won't be giving birth on stage. You're like, well, I'm just gonna stand up here and mill around. <laughs> it, it yeah. out. I've been canceled. <laughs> so get your get your bets in, people. Um, yeah, and I'm not planning to be induced or anything like that. Even though uh, Big Baby oh. wants me to get induced, no, I don't. I'm not about that. Big Baby, like Big Big pharma. Baby, Big Birth. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I didn't know if you were talking about Frank or something. Like, oh, I would call, no. <laughs> I'd call no, this guy and be like, big baby over here. <laughs> the OBGYN was like, we could, we should uh, probably induce you the week before in case your placenta stops working. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just because they want to schedule it. You know, they want to know who's working the birth. They Somebody want to know. be on vacation or something. And yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So apparently most babies, the most babies are born on Thursdays because doctors don't want to work Fridays and weekends. That's See? crazy, right? Yeah. See? I need to find that article, but I was like, that blows my mind. That makes God. me actually really mad. The government and doctors, <laughs> they just lie to us. They lie to oh, us yeah. every time. What date <laughs> did I pick for the pool, by the way? Let's yep. see. Let's see what oh I my God. I'll be like, yeah, induce me for Saturday night in the middle of your date, please. <laughs> Perfect. That would be great. Deranged Lunatic, how come Lila was the smallest on the thumbnail? You, that's a, that's a, take that up with Frank. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe he height profiled us. I think he did. <laughs> he did. He was based on height. <laughs> it is. It's very much based on him. My God, there's so much internet to cover. Oh my God, and I feel like so many themes. I think this week they're 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 repeating themes on, you know, red pill versus regular people on marriage, divorce. Um, Michael Knowles of the Daily Wire debates debated uh, marriage and divorce with our good friend friend of the show pearl davis pearly things oh and i love pearl we love pearl pearl i will never stop loving you you're always welcome uh maybe i'll just send her a pair of shoes as a a pair of size 18 shoes as a as a olive branch Send her a link. She could join right now. You know what? I'm <laughs> feeling crazy. Maybe she's in the cups and she'll just pop on. I'm feeling crazy enough. I am. I'm going to send. Well, I send her a link almost all the time. But you're going to do something <laughs> radical? I'm going to do something radical. I am going to send her the link. Do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> jump on. We're talking about your interview on Daily Wire with Michael Knowles. I wonder how she feels about it. I wonder if she thinks she like rocked it or what. Yeah. I always wonder how people feel. Like you'll see from both sides, like, oh, she did a great job. Oh, she sucked. I'm like, <laughs> how does she feel about how she did with it? Because I didn't watch the whole thing. I just was like, oh, that's interesting. I'm sure she I'm thinks she's still she watching it. it. <laughs> she. <sighs> 
she maybe she comes across confident, but again, I don't know if that's because she just interrupts him so darn much. Mm -hmm. oh, Jalisa, what does her birth chart tell us? I think she's a Scorpio. Ooh. <laughs> I think yeah. I did look. I think I did look, but I do. I don't know if she's a Scorpio. She's November fourth. Yeah, she's a Scorpio. She is. Ooh, election oh, day. No. Ooh, he's so. making us look clammy. Me and Keanu are Scorpios. <laughs> yeah. Um, Keanu, she's our friend. I bet you guys would hit it off. In I would love her. I would love. I would fucking love to talk to Clam. I would love it. I just tease her. I have to. Oh, this is <laughs> like this. Yeah, I don't know. I, I saw, well, the way that each side edited the clip, you see that long pause of, oh, a policy. Oh, oh my friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's my buddy. I am cold. I had no mittens. Oh, no, no mittens. And it's fucking storming out. <laughs> Oh, I man. hate Canada. <laughs> Is that where you Dude. live, Rick? <laughs> yes. I am cold. He should be really tossing the gold coins to people. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Is he <laughs> Lila, You know okay, his pain because that's Lila, my buddy. You've had, a, you've had leprechaun gigs. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not wearing green, okay? I'm boycotting. I'm a retired leprechaun. I'm done. <laughs> Doing leprechaun gigs. I've had many a gig for many a year. So yeah, a little like bit of people want to go out on St. Patty's Day. So people are like, mm -hmm. yeah. drunk people are like, well, hello. Well, I mean, I would have like a little pot of gold. People would tip me. It was fun. That's cool. And they would they would be like, they'd have to tip me and take they would take pictures with me and then like ask to carry me and I'd make them give me twenty dollars and then they could lift me up and then take a picture. Like the if you're making money for it, then yeah. Yeah, oh, and this is Sassy Cassie. We made a ton of videos together. This is really funny. Why did you open my lucky charm? I would eat this stuff. Man. Are you kidding me, man? This is mine. It's delicious. I want it. You're always having lucky charms. <laughs> 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 you're always having lucky charms. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> the day is all about yeah oh my god is that it <laughs> that's one of those videos where you're like what is going on right now <laughs> what is happening, happening? <laughs> she's so strong i am impressed she's so strong all right uh i should have prepared you guys for that a little better <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it at us. Like what's happening. Okay. <laughs> one more saint patrick's day themed thing before we go into talking about pearl and her Daily Wire experience. Five reasons why international women love Irishmen. See, I almost want to disregard this completely because I only really care about the opinion of American women, to be totally honest. Um, but let's see why international women love Irishmen. Number five, they're sociable. Irishmen, it's a man you can take anywhere. Well, except for the pub, because uh, <laughs> you'll be dragging him out. They take themselves there. Yes. Um, okay, they're handsome. Ooh, Irish men are so handsome. They're known for their rugged good looks. I think an Irish man is very sexy with the accent and all. Yeah. And they're big drinkers. Colin, Colin Farrell, Pierce Brosnan, mm -hmm. Michael Fassbender. Uh, they have a sense of humor. They can make you laugh. True. Because they're always they're drunk. drunk. They're always kinky. <laughs> Yeah, it helps being drunk. Accent, a man you could listen to all day. Okay. Oh, and they're so charming. charming. Oh, right. Are all of them guaranteed to be charming? I feel like that's probably not true because I have like Irish relatives and I'm familiar with like the IRA and stuff, and I feel like they're not all super charming and awesome. Some of them are too. They all love to give compliments as per this article. Doubt. <laughs> I love it though. 
They, they've kissed a Blarney stone. That's right. Kissed a Blarney oh. stone. Are there any Irish people in the chat? Put a one in the chat if you're Irish. You're Irish. <laughs> We're all a bit Irish. Oh, I've, I've never been, been Ireland. Ireland. You've been? I've been. I went to the Guinness Brewing Factory. Cool. Ooh. And I drank a Guinness beer at the top of the factory. That's what I did. It's just oh, awesome. Goodness. Okay, we got, wow, wow, more Irish people than I ever expected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang, I didn't know we had so many small peens in the chat. <laughs> I'm Irish. Irish. <laughs> Irish. <laughs> Scotch Irish. I'm Scottish. I'm, from Scotland. I'm Scotch whenever I'm drinking it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's so poor. She was on with Michael Knowles, wasn't she? She oh, yeah. interrupted him many, many times. <laughs> That's the key to the Irish accent is 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 putting the oi in the in the eyes. Oh, oh many yeah. times. <laughs> oh, what in the name Pete are you doing? Oi, or you <laughs> keep saying for fuck's sake over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> you only really know how how to say a couple of things. And a, kid, my a potato and a Guinness <laughs> and a laugh. Yes, a potato. <laughs> a potato. Have a laugh. Oh, have here laugh. we have Pearl with her long, long. She's all arms and legs, isn't she? Yes, <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> What's the? Um. So I actually this interview endeared Michael Knowles to me because he's like, he's hardcore Catholic. He attends Catholic the Latin Catholic Mass, which I guess is the most intense. Um, you know, like, uh, like if, like if religion were different races, like the, the lat the Latin mass is like the tough mutter or the, um, or the F45 or the, or the CrossFit. It's the most hardcore thing. So did you uh, say mutter? It's a tough, tough mutter, mutter, you know, tough no, mutter. I don't know what that where means. You go, where you go through the mud. It's like a marathon, like oh, a I thought you were yeah. saying like mother in an Irish accent. Oh, like, like a oh. tough I had a real tough mother. <laughs> <laughs> she threw me in the mud. <laughs> if I wouldn't finish me dinner. <laughs> okay. Here's the, Michael Knowles debates marriage and divorce with pearly things. I oppose divorce in all circumstances. There's something kind of romantic about that. About about a man or a woman who's like, yeah, divorce is just completely off the table for me. I, that's kind of that's how I feel. I think that's full commitment. Really, full commitment. I think that's hot. Respect it. Uh, that's a yeah. conservative view, not a liberal uh, view. And Pearl goes, I guess maybe I'm liberal in that one. And Michael says, Yeah, I think you're liberal in a lot of ways. I think the red pill movement is liberal in a lot of ways. And Michael keeps making the point of comparing uh, MGTOW or the red pill movement to essentially feminism. What's the what's the argument for? What marriage is, why it's still good to do, uh, it, no matter what the policies are, why man is inclined to any it. Any policy? Yeah, I think so, marriage is so always good. Any, any policy? Yeah, I think any country in the world at any time in history, it's basically good to get married. So, so a guy, <laughs> so if they make a policy that, I'm going to do something crazy. <laughs> Uh, I mean, even the policies that are today, oh, it's like... Lydia, is this the clip? We had a clip in our group chat about how the, actually the producer at one point, Pearl's producer, takes over her. asking Michael the questions. Yeah, you know what? I would have loved to have debated her because she is not prepared at not all. At all. <laughs> Holy cow. At all. She needs to yeah. take her knee out of the frame. It is driving yeah, me yeah. insane. Uh, yeah. uh, we don't need to see your gams, Clam. <laughs> Maybe it's her power, her power stance. She does look quite relaxed, and she pops some dry shampoo in her hair for once. Yeah. So she does look <laughs> nice. I, I I do like her outfit. And her hair looks good. Love that. Part. Yeah, yeah. She does look good. All right, let me see. I'm going to play this out a smidgen more. A smidgen. You know, she thinks that if. Stumped. So, really, <laughs> any policy. Wait, what? What? Clip! She's like, give me that water. <laughs> yeah. find out five years later, he's not the biological father. So the question 
for mm-hmm. because I have a microphone on, was if my son uh, were married and his wife cheated on him and had a kid by another man, would I support uh, my son yeah. divorcing? Uh, I do not support divorce <laughs> under any circumstances. So, uh, yeah, I think what... Yeah, I... He's got a Bible right there. Pearl's got one in her clam. Like, he doesn't say that. But the so the question that was brought up from uh, off camera was uh, what about the so-called acceptive clause in mm-hmm. the Gospel of St. Matthew, where our Lord says, what God has joined, let no man separate, uh, except for the case of Pornea. Mm-hmm. And what's curious about this um, so-called acceptive clause, which in, in recent centuries, some Protestants have interpreted to mean that if your wife cheats on you, you can mm-hmm. uh, divorce her, but which had, had not been understood that way for the vast majority of the history of the church, and certainly mm-hmm. and still is the case in the Catholic Church. God and, damn, is he and, smart. Uh, elsewhere. I mean, he can um, just, whew, he's like the cycle. I guess one way to understand mm-hmm. that, and that mm-hmm. apparent contradiction with the other synoptic Gospels, which do not have the so-called acceptive mm-hmm. clause, is to remember that St. Matthew is writing for a Jewish audience, and there was a, a um, live debate at the time over... Uh, over the exception. What, what I would die of embar- of embarrassment if my producer had to <laughs> jump in and he had a saver. Like, yeah. Right. It's question, looking bad. It's looking me. bad. <laughs> I would yeah. have sharded my dress. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she's coming at Michael on his home turf. Like he knows what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. And I think that he well, somebody says bro got the facts for his and he does because michael knows exactly what he's talking about here like he is a catholic he goes to mass he's read the bible and he talks about this stuff for an hour every day um yeah. i'm not sure why she thought she would win this one <laughs> but he kind of knows where he's coming from now she she makes good points so my issue with her is that she makes good points and then she makes him super super unlikable and i'm like look you, you're making a good point why are you making it so that i don't want to agree with you <laughs> Yeah. Like he makes money off of being unlikable. Exactly. Yeah, yeah she right. gets that engagement. It, it just is. It's just her. And also, if I, the first thing I would think is like, well, if it's a, it's only so if the man cheats, it's okay. Yeah, that's what she says. Yeah, she literally says, says that's fine. Jesus right. Christ. He's oh, generally God. very forgiving yeah. of uh, towards men, yeah. like for men cheating. Like I think and I don't is. understand that. Like, be consistent, man. But it's so bizarre. Okay. Well, <laughs> what what type of adulterous exception that would imply? And so, one way of of understanding Matthew chapter nineteen and the acceptive clause is to say, actually, what he's saying is, let's ignore this whole sort of um, debate that's taking place between various Jewish groups and just get to the heart of the matter. Um, but uh, f- furthermore, the fact that you see it in the other Gospels, uh, mm. not repeated with the acceptive clause, would seem to uh, bolster the traditional view of the church, understood in the magisterium and the divisive faith, and oh. articulated by the victor of Christ on earth, that uh, no, I'm you don't get to... crawling out of here on my hands and knees if I were her. <laughs> I would have been, I'd have been like, you don't have to say all of that. You know, use all that vocabulary. <laughs> Latin in there. <laughs> of course, just because you cheat on your wife. Also, because it just at a natural level, that would create a perverse incentive such that if two people don't like each other, uh, there's an incentive well, to just go out and cheat so, and, and dissolve the marriage. Okay, so if she... If he's raising a kid that's not his, you you would support them staying together. I oppose divorce in all oh, wow. circumstances. Yeah. Wow. That's okay. a conservative view, not a liberal. Like yeah, I guess I guess maybe I'm liberal in that one. Yeah. So. No, I yeah. think you're liberal in a lot of ways. And mm-hmm. I think the red pill is liberal in a lot of ways. Yeah, which well, is the, which is why they're um ironically just, just the flip side of the feminist. Well, I, I disagree with that. Uh like, her face right. Looks very what about um this is a question I would love to ask Pearl. What about mixed families what are you going to be like well like in my case like i am a stepmother i am partially um raising a child that is not biologically mine does that make me some sort of horrible person or vice versa if a man is um like a stepfather and they're helping to raise a child that's not biologically there are they are are they some sort of sucker are they uh, some burst into flames when they walk into a church chrissy of course (laughs) now the first question i would have asked him is like wait wait so you say if i'm but the the the, i'm still stuck on this because why didn't she say like so if a if a man cheats it's still not okay for divorce he says one time in the bible they say if the woman cheats then you can i don't know stone her to death but uh, if the man cheats, it's 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 okay. Still stay married. I mean, I I, guess, I I don't know. That's bizarre to me. 
I just don't understand why she is the person he's interviewing about this when she's never been married. She's never been in a long-term relationship where she's ever lived with a partner. Has she ever been been with a guy for three plus years or even lived with them for that long? Yeah, but did they live together? Did it? So I just who makes her the the uh what's the, the word? spokesperson yeah the spokesperson yeah, for marriage and how marriage should be and also i guess she's trying to argue that men shouldn't get married because it's like really bad for them but it's like uh, actually i think marriage is is the best for a man women can women can make friends outside of their marriage and get like community and group but like a lonely single man is suicidal you know like that's mm-hmm. just i feel like for for Men and women getting married, it's a good thing for both parties. But she's trying to argue that men should just not be with women and it's too much of a risk. And it's like that there's no benefits. Yeah. So a single a single man doesn't know when to change his own sheets. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> JD Meyer didn't change his sheets for eight years, I think. <laughs> and he was they talked about it on the Howard Stern show for uh, what was maybe six months. Eight years, I think it was. I don't know, but it, you, 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 men can't be left to their own devices. Ridiculous. <laughs> and also, like when a good woman enters a man's life, like it, 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 it improves his life so <laughs> much. I mean, a, a good woman yeah. can really like a man could be doing okay, and then you just add a good woman in there, and like his whole place gets rearranged. He finally has pillows. Yeah, he has. You know, he has more than one towel. He has multiple towels for different parts of his body, not just one rag that's for his balls and his face. Exactly. That's true. Yeah. That just frightened me because Gino's got a Chrissy Mears wet spot towel in his shower. Literally. I'm like, he's using it for his balls. There was like one prototype made. It's like a golf towel. Someone sent it to the it's studio and he just like took it home. So he like, had a real what? towel. I'm like, don't wipe up the kitchen with that. Please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Um, so Lila, cute. you're making me you're making me think that Pearl might actually be a feminist in disguise because I do agree that marriage is good for men. Now the courts are against men. We can clear that up right now. She's correct yeah. about the court mm-hmm. and the entire legal system being biased against men. Yeah. But when it comes to actual marriage, when wives die, husbands die shortly thereafter. Because they it's it's Aww. they structure their husband's life. It's very sad. It's horrible. But they need each other. And it turns out we mm-hmm. do need each other. And women do need men and men need women. And sorry, but it's great. Well, when I husbands it's die, cool. women live another 20 years and you know they're fine. You get married again. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can when he passes on, then I'll live second life. <laughs> The hospice nurses are going to love me. I think Michael <laughs> is very patient with Pearl. He he schools her not in a like a teacher would, like not a father me. would, like he's like so he's nice. kind. He's kind with it. The first thing he says in the interview, he's like, "How are you even here? You're like 12 years old. Like, yeah, how she's really you young. popular, <laughs> and she does seem quite unprepared." Like maybe why why did your, why did your producer have to step in? Like, okay. I mean, that's a terrible look. Maybe he was Mm -hmm. like, if I don't speak, who knows what she was. So it was a long moment of silence. Her points are all like, right. She does bring up the good point of the current policy as it stands. Her, her argument that she repeats over and over is like, you're entering into a system in where the woman gets paid to leave. The woman gets paid to divorce. And it's all just like, she's all dealing in the worst case scenario where you have Michael who's, who's been married for a, for a minute. I think he met his wife before even the, like the apps really great school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She, that it's adorable. That's where she loses people and her lack of real life experience. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't know. According how. to her, <laughs> she should be a housewife by now married to a right, but she's right? not at all. She's not. So, don't know why not and not a virgin either when she thinks that she should that you know and, i mean she's a she's a walking contradiction so it's it's very difficult to take her seriously is it really going to help men like <laughs> does it really help men to have someone like pearl going don't get married it's not in your favor it's is that really helpful because you're not going to stop men from wanting to date wanting to like obviously 
hook up, but you're, you're at the end of the day, like you're not going to want to stop men from meeting somebody and like having a partnership. I think a lot of the men who are listening to her or following her anyways are, we're already planning not to do that. And it's just kind of like a cope, mm-hmm. you know, like it's like this cope. It's kind of like, okay. Um, you know, like, so, uh, like some people will say like, oh, I don't, I don't really want a relationship or I don't really want this when it's like, well, you couldn't have that anyway. So it's, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. There's this idea that every man thinks exactly the same. Like, no, some actually want like a relationship. Like yeah. that's a real thing that they're really yeah. desperate for like love. Mm-hmm. So for her to okay. be like, don't do it. It's like, what? Not a super chat, but an interesting comment. Why do people think you need to be married in order to appeal to other men? who aren't uh i just think it's it's your street cred it shows that you can walk the walk and talk the talk so i kind of got into this on twitter because i said she hasn't been in a long-term relationship she hasn't gotten married and she doesn't have kids and i don't feel like i need to listen to someone who talks about nothing else because i don't deal in solar panels or you know long haul not with that attitude lydia (laughs) there i could talk about no i don't talk about those things because i have no idea what's up with that right now i can comment on it i have every right to do so but i'm not going to make my bread and butter butter talking about it because i have no idea you know what's up there she's a cope for the boy run media that's fucking angry the incels that are angry and then but she doesn't even practice what she preaches i mean i i'm sure she's a very lovely lady but like <laughs> she's not even doing what she you, says you know that what it is women should do right it's kind of like someone who would who would talk about what life would be like at living like being a person who needs a wheelchair or like is disabled but not actually disabled. You can speculate, you can say what you think it would be like to have to use a wheelchair everywhere, but unless you're the person in the fucking wheelchair, you really don't know. So right. that's a know. great comparison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, a couple of a couple of super chats about the topic. Ashton, well, what's up, Ashton? It Ashton. seems to me Pearl doesn't believe Ashton. I'll send you a link. Uh, it seems to me Pearl doesn't believe what she's saying. She's just searching, uh, by for male attention. To, uh, online, she member got off. I think I know. I think I can translate this she doesn't believe she's voice to text. <laughs> she doesn't. She. I don't think she cares about, uh, making her viewers like happy or improving their lives i think she just she knows exactly enough of what to say to to be like a good clip and to make uh, money that's it's literally all it is let me just piss off as many women as i can and get as many men to be like yeah as i can because i know it's dollar signs that's it's literally all it is it's very easy yeah and then she goes on this guy's show and she is completely ill-prepared (laughs) <laughs> it's embarrassing like but she's not yeah she's not fighting for the i, I think it's an easier argument to just like stay kind of black pilled and be like well you know the worst case scenario could happen so why bother and i just mm-hmm. don't think we should be well she should just go, go she should marry a guy that makes forty five thousand dollars a year that is you know, completely bald and a little bit <laughs> overweight. And it's just like a regular average Joe type person, slightly in cell. Why doesn't she marry that type of guy and tell us how great it is? Because that is what she is saying that every woman should just kind of, you know, settle for and that we're all being too picky for wanting to have standards and wanting like a certain type of guy to, to be like, she's like, no. So she should just go do that. And then tell us how happy she yeah. is. Yeah, because at one point she does say to Michael, like, you can't compare yourself to the average guy who makes 45 grand a year. And like, you know, you have more money. You can hire better lawyers. He's like, yeah, exactly. I would still. He's like, like I would still. That average dude. Show yeah. us how much, how great and it so is. Michael Pearl. said, I would still be losing half my money. I would still be. No, he wouldn't. He doesn't have any money to fucking lose. I don't know what what these guys are complaining about. You don't have probably if your wife left you, you'd have she'd have to pay you out. Can we talk (laughs) about that? (laughs) These guys who claim to have, oh, they're gonna take my money. You the guys who complain about the women taking their money for for the most part don't really have money to be taken. And a vagina. They have Mm -hmm. a vagina, but no money. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ashton. Pearl seems like someone so unhappy she doesn't want anyone else to find happiness. 
does not seem happy. I genuinely feel bad mm-hmm. for her. Like I would like to talk to her because I'm like, I do. I'd love yeah. to talk to her. Doing, I dog? Love it. Yeah. <laughs> like I'd love to get yeah. a gin tonic with her and a white claw. Just be like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> what are you mm-hmm. doing? Are you a lesbian? Like, <laughs> like really, yes, honestly, I just one on one. I would love to speak with her. Like, Off the record, yeah. Mm-hmm. Try. It's easier to keep yourself safe to like to not not go meet somebody, not get in a relationship, don't get married. It's it's. I think it's just it's the easier point of being like don't don't risk it. But we're fucking alive, man, and not and uh, some of us don't have as much time as we think it's like life is about risk and those risks make you happier yeah Yeah. just deal with it go through it oh zato thank you for the super chat pearl could play maureen o'hara in the quiet man uh remake april falls i don't know this (laughs) reference i'm so sorry maureen o'hara looks nothing like uh pearl though let me look that up (laughs) Quiet man, I have no idea. Is she leggy, is she a leggy broad? Simon Ho, she's misleading women to increase her own chances. Oh, Simon, you think she Could wants be. to take out the competition. She's taking all the guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the devastator. I am a leprechaun. Can't you see from the buttons on me jacket to the buckles on me shoes? <laughs> <laughs> on me jacket with the buckles on me shoes. Oh. Isn't there a scary movie about a leprechaun? It's called yeah, Leprechaun. It's leprechaun. Yeah, it is like <laughs> six of them. That's only because you can't understand a single thing a Scotsman says. <laughs> I need my book steak. James Chart. Sorry, Lila. As a slightly overweight balding guy making mid high five figures, I'm already married. She missed that boat 27 years ago. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure Aww. you're wonderful, James, and I know you are because you are a member, and we love everybody that's in this no. chat. <laughs> we love your member, Ashton. If I settled like she is telling women to, I would have been miserable and not have what I have now. Mm, yep. Yeah. MK Solid Chrissy Kate Middleton might have Crohn's disease. She's very. She's always been skinny though. Uh, she's very skinny, and it and it can Aww. require stomach surgeries i had a friend who passed from it oh, yeah also awful. you're kind of shitting all the time that's what i know about crohn's oh, that's disease that's fucking awful that's a awful. Awful. i've known people yeah. who have it it's the mm-hmm. worst oh poor thing uh but lila has a theory that she's dead and they're just trying <gasps> to find a clone no <laughs> i mean i saw those ai I, I pictures feel, if yeah. she has crohn's that's great i'll welcome her to the disabled team with open arms and this will be fantastic there this is great. <laughs> I love when a new member joins. You know, I've been here the whole time, so it's fucking fantastic. Oh, Maybe you she saw- actually has Clone's disease. Oh. 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 <laughs> a disease that makes you thin and chic. Where could I find some? Uh-huh. Right, uh-huh. sign me up. <laughs> Janine, thank you for the super chat. Congrats, Chrissy, on your it impending birth. Lila, I will delete dogs with you. Oh no. <laughs> Yes, let's eat the dogs. Uh, speaking of dogs, I met Muffin and Waffles, and they look delicious. I didn't eat them, but I wanted to. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I take a bite out of Waffles. Um, oh, it's so yeah. cute, Waffles. Those are they the sweetest you. little Warbies I ever saw in my life. Oh my also, okay, I want to say something else, too. Like, why does why does all these men who follow um, Pearl, like, just think that, like every man is not just entitled to having a woman. Okay. Like you're not yeah. just, you don't just get like assigned a fucking woman. That's not how it is. And also think about like in olden days or whatever, like the King would just impregnate like 50 women. Right. Yeah. And like, that's just how it would be. So when they're like, Oh, all the women are competing for like the top percentage of men. It's like, it's in our fucking DNA too. So I just know. be better, like work <laughs> out and be better. Like why better than just that. Sit- and complain uh, and be an incel, or are you going to improve yourself and make yourself better? Are you going to sit online watching Pearl all day long, <laughs> or are you going or to? Or are you going to subscribe right. to some OnlyFans chicks and actually see some hotness? <laughs> and here's the thing: even if you don't get married, even if you even if you stay in a long term committed relationship well guess what you're going to be meeting all the same challenges as if you were married so who does that really help i think advice from marriage married people is good you know for anybody who's been with somebody longer than a year you know it's 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 about 
okay, are you someone that's going to stay with somebody for the long term or not? And okay, I can understand having a long term partner. And you're like, I don't want the, to get the government involved, your domestic partnership, whatever. But you're like, that's your ride or die. Um, you still can learn a lot from the advice of somebody like a Michael Knowles. And that's the thing. If you're, if you're not saying that, if you're like, well, don't, don't settle down in any capacity. Don't even have the same partner. Just be sort of like single and fucking around forever. Um, you can that, be George I, Clooney, but even he met a lawyer, a lovely lawyer lady and got married, you know, yeah, it, true. It, yeah. get I, tired of it eventually. I, I right. I, you may. I I thought I would never ever get married ever, uh, <laughs> especially not to an elderly man. Um, yeah, but I'm just teasing. He's only fifty five. He's the best. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I I Aww. can't get. I can't get enough. I can't. And you're but the best thing that ever happened to him. You guys uh, make each other wonderful. Now he has more than one towel. He has a carpet on the ground. <laughs> yes. I know. I changed the knobs on the cabinets. We're doing great. Oh, um, but. I I never thought I'd get married ever. My parents were just like, you know, you're too cool for that. Don't even bother. And I'd be like, yeah, you're right. But <laughs> I'm so in love with him. I want to get married. I'm not looking. I was not like, well, I need this box checked, this box checked. I will swipe, 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 swipe until I find somebody rich enough, uh, has enough hair, and is this age. That It will never work that way. You have to, you, I truly believe in like falling in love with someone yeah. And and if you yeah. are in love with them, get married to them. And if your lives yeah. work out together, great. But uh, I think it's pretty simple, you know. But yeah, T. Muller is T. Muller says I will never remarry. One and done, not worth the risk, right? Because if you're mm -hmm. burned once by it, I understand. I think that's part of why, like, I waited as long as I did. I'm like, I know if I do it, like, I'm gonna be hardcore about it, and that's gonna be yeah. um, right. Well, whatever. Push-ups. Can we get Gino's opinion on clam slash Pearl? When he does the baby. Does he even pool. follow Pearl? Oh, he's hurt. <laughs> I've literally cried at one of the things I've been watching. He watched me cry. Like, because I'm like, she's a, she's a monster. And then I, I, I gather oh. myself. She's <laughs> not. She's just doing it for the funds. Uh, but yeah, he, he would basically agree with what I said about her. But uh, yeah. Uh, Maybe he'll optic comment. nerve. I'm single and I agree with Lila. Oh, thanks, optic mm -hmm. nerve. Such cases. I'm sending you good vibes. I hope you find yourself a saucy, sexy lady <laughs> who just loves you all the time. But okay, I one more thing I want to say here. People in the chat, somebody wrote, they were like, oh my gosh, uh, women who are fives think that they deserve millionaires. First of all, can we stop with the what you're a 10, you're a nine, you're a five? No. If you have a pussy that's real, that was made by God, then you are a 10, my dear. That is the fact. <laughs> because pussy is powerful. These men want it so goddamn bad that they're all That's why they're, they're so girl. angry. That's why they're so angry. Yeah, because they right. want it yeah. so badly. So, ladies, don't ever let a man tell you you're a five or a two or you've hit the wall. As long as that pussy is wet and working, you're a 10. <laughs> Exactly. Fair enough. And if it's not if it's not wet, there's lube. So. Yeah, you can figure it out. Don't worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> you're already right. pregnant. Uh, no, <laughs> you're already pregnant. You fulfilled it. So powerful that the, there's people out here chopping off their dicks trying to make a pussy, and I'm sorry, it, it's not the same. But that's how powerful it is. We're, we're doing some Frankenstein yep. shit. There's you real, have a real one, and everything. Yeah. You are winning and you should be proud of it. We're living in the best times, ladies. Yeah. We can actually have our own bank accounts. We can stream and talk <laughs> about this. You can create an OnlyFans and become a fucking millionaire if you want to. You can do whatever you want. And we got people like Pearl who are trying to say that it's so bad. And it's like, no, it's not. It's actually the best time in history to be a woman. Any other time, you could get stoned to death if someone even mm -hmm. just accused you of doing just being rude to your husband. Right, though. There's so you can beat your wife on the steps of the Capitol in some mm -hmm. state or something. Some yeah. weird. Oh, I heard. I heard, did hear about that. that. Yes. Yeah. Please. Really? The power of yeah. the pussy for sure. For sure. <laughs> you could use a little. Gratitude. Oh yes, we will be talking about the only fan top earner who just got baptized. Oh, and, yeah. and I love her. I love right. that for her. Here's a similar. I love this. Uh, the these are the fresh and fit gentlemen. Every time I see their face, I'm just 
Oh my god! I <laughs> no <cannot> good? <laughs> with them. <laughs> this, is like, ew. this is another really good example of like what you focus on expands. And I think the fresh and fit guys also deal in worst case scenario, kind of mm-hmm. relationship black pill, which I don't think helps anybody. If they've learned anything, it's probably how to respect and how to have a long-term healthy relationship with a woman that you can call your wife and have a family with. How do you get a wife, Ethan? Because my thing is like, <laughs> you're, you're like, just, you're talking about the finish line. What about the race? Yeah. yeah. You understand? Like, you Course. have to get are to either of you married where you can even identify a female that's worthy of marriage of having a family with etc and unfortunately in today's day and age it's not that simple anymore so we live so- in a very complex world where it's difficult to identify women that are marriage material and most aren't simply that's just what it is so you guys are, uh, if you guys that? method is so good why aren't you married again uh, because men are the ones that decide if they want to get married choice so so you choose not to be married yeah, it's because men are the yeah. one. That, we're the gatekeepers to marriage and commitment. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. Right, and um, <laughs> you're 34, right, Myron? Yes. And um, do you plan on getting married someday? Do you think it's important? Eventually, the nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Oh, well, thank you for saying that about me. <laughs> Good job, but a lot of guys don't have that ability to find a woman that's worthy. You don't have that ability. Ooh, I don't have that ability. you're not married. That's by choice. Oh, but, you, but no, throat. the ability to find a woman, you clearly don't have that ability. Woo! So you use the Sugar Daddy websites as dating sites. Yes. Yeah, so we did a whole episode <laughs> and on And then this. you complain about women being shallow. Ah! I never complained about women being you shallow. Say, you say it's hard to find a good woman because they're, they're motivated Dad. by material things and stuff. And yet you're seeking women, specifically a certain type of woman, obviously, that would be on a Sugar yes. Daddy website. So... It seems like you are confirming your biases by even going there to find them. What? Okay, so you <laughs> Sorry, Walter, I'll, I'll say it. Do you want me to say it again slower? Oh, I think the same is exactly true of the types of gals that they have on whatever, whatever podcast. Oh, yes. That's yeah. yes. Festival. They're there for, again, the, the viral moment, the clip. Dude, uh-huh. that's the most respect I've ever had for Ethan Klein because he I know. is right. Okay. Claps for Ethan. It was yeah. a good yeah, moment there. for Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Byron. Yeah, Byron. Fuck so off. Any man who's that yeah. angry towards women, it's because they don't like women. They like men. Yeah. What is this? Mm-hmm. He, like, yeah. looking at him, like, what woman looks at him and is like, I want that. No, like, right, exactly. There's nothing about him that's manly to me. He just complains. He's just, he just complaining all the time. Gets, complains. I'm like, you're, ew. Yeah. He's probably, yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, he could be just like a, a lot of people can't accept gayness either. They can't. <laughs> no. They just oh, I've seen some pictures. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. I never saw any of those people in my life, but that's what I thought. I'm like, okay, well then. I'm so glad we're talking about this. <laughs> I do you love Pearl. Do you love the Fresh and Fit Boys? I am not a fan of either. I think they purposely make bait. I don't think a lot of these people actually believe what they're saying. I think they're trying to get a target audience because they know the target audience is very lonely, has nothing better to do than be online and send them super chats, which is how a lot of like these alpha male red pill podcasts run. And I know because it's an industry I used to be heavily involved with. And you basically go after a target audience you know is going to be online a lot, has nothing else to do. And you, what they do is they keep telling these men, hey, don't don't date. Don't date. You'll never find a girlfriend because the Dude. moment these men do go out find a girlfriend, they're too busy going on dates than giving to them watch chats. their fucking thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yep. They, yeah, oh. they're, they're exactly. they won't go out and live their lives and wow. meet a little dude. Right. Like when I'm on OnlyFans, I actually have like a weekly show where I basically tell like the men following me how to get a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> I basically have like a little class telling them, okay, this is how you talk to women. This is like how you like find a girlfriend, which I, I, I gen- and, like I've had people message me like, hey, Ashley, I have to unsubscribe because I have a girlfriend now. And I'm like, good, Aww, fantastic, golf so club for you. Graduated. So it's just, right. Like, but it's just like Aww. one of those things where it's like, you know, there, these people are purposely saying, hey, you'll never get a girlfriend because women bad nowadays. When the truth is, is like if you really want a traditional woman, the only way tradition – if you really believe that men are the leaders, 
then you would also believe that the only way traditional women can exist is if traditional men can exist, right? And if these men are just sitting at home, not working on themselves, not going to the gym, not taking care of themselves, not reading books, not developing themselves. Not buying a second towel. Exactly. (laughs) Then they're never going to get develop the proper skills to have a girlfriend. Like if you want to have a traditional life, you and have a traditional woman, you yourself have to have traditional values and actually follow through with it. And the funny thing is, is that like obviously I'm an OnlyFans thought, like I'm not a good example of this, but I have literally lived a more traditional lifestyle in the past than Pearl ever has. And that to me is the funny thing. I did the whole traditional thing. I lived with men. I did their laundry. I cooked for them. I cleaned for them. I tried being the good wife through the problem was is a lot of the men that i dated would claim to be traditional but they Mm -hmm. wouldn't actually get a real job they wouldn't actually develop themselves they would just sit at home Mm -hmm. all day and play video games and expect me to do everything and then i kind of sat there and thought to myself well if i'm cleaning and cooking and working and paying the bills well i can just do that on my own and save some money then like it's that's basically like why i kind of went down the rabbit hole that i did um and ironically enough like you know found more happiness in it because it's like why would a woman want to be traditional if the men these days don't want to be traditional and that's not me like saying like oh like you know traditionalism is stupid or anything but if you yourself want traditionalism want a traditional woman obviously i'm not an example of that you have mm-hmm. to yourself be traditional first that's a good point mm-hmm. really good I think point a lot of- and i think you're right women do get fed up when they're like oh i'm doing all the things a woman's supposed to do and i'm also working and helping to like make a living to contribute so so a lot of women get fed up like why am i doing both yeah uh, yeah so they aren't just, i well, supposed okay, to I'll be just... able to do the laundry and cook for you and also stay hot and do all this stuff mm-hmm. and then hide when i go and get botox and all of that <laughs> I'm forever and, and you're still i'm still working and you're just playing goddamn grand theft auto Fuck off. Basically. Absolutely not. No. Like Rob a little Grand Theft Auto to blow off steam. But yeah. Yes. Play it That's together. True. How about play video games with your woman? Don't just sit there. That's fine. But yeah. And the thing is, this is not to knock all men. I feel like when we talk about these things, people get very defensive. They think, well, men are not all men are like that. Not all men are like this. No. But the problem is, is that there are a lot of those men. The men who watch these podcasts tend to have those traits. Now, I think the best man that a woman could date or marry is a blue collar worker because those are the people who are, they're just trying, they're just trying to do some good, honest work. And those are the ones I feel like who end up the most likely to be in traditional situations and happy marriages because they're not, you know, they're not sitting there all day, like swiping on Instagram, looking at Photoshopped models all day. They're too busy getting the work done. Uh, you know, doing things at the house, like things like that. I feel like the blue collar worker is like the last, like true traditionalist man, if that makes sense. It There's does make sense. Um, I wanted to thank the... Zia for the for the raid, by the way. Thank you, Zia. Oh. And it's like the same kind of confirmation bias that we find that we accuse Pearl and then the Fresh and Fit boys of. If you, as a per, and we've all been broken up with had our hearts broken a lot of us have uh, been screwed in a divorce or a relationship or whatever and a lot it's, a lot of people got screwed in custody situations so but again like if you're looking to improve your life it's almost like w- the fresh and fits and watching the pearls it's like the um the guilty pleasure it's like the negative confirmation bias whereas like if you're trying to up you're like yeah you are right keep yourself small don't try mm-hmm. like stay safe um whereas the harder thing to do is like no, let me listen to some married people. Let me listen to some people who have turned their lives around and see how they did it. Cause it's, it's scarier to get back on the horse. It's scarier to, to try again and make yourself vulnerable and open yourself up to hurt again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the kind of people who are listening to Pearl and fresh and fit are not the kind of people who want to even get married. I think yeah. they are destined to sit there and complain about yeah. it. And that's fine. If that's what you want to do, take it away. I think it's probably (laughs) better that you don't have kids. It's better that you don't tie someone down. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't procreate if you think the way that they think. For Christ's sake. Right. Can I please read this super chat? And it's the best advice that I can agree with. Yes. Um, Someone named James, uh, he says, biggest advice I would give to men trying to find a girlfriend is to stop looking in a bar and go do other social things i met my wife a live action D &D game and that is the best (laughs) advice because you're not 
bars are the worst place ever. That's like where hookup culture sort of just like seeds itself. I feel like the best way to find like a girlfriend is to go out and do things that are a general hobby, like axe throwing. That's a really uh, random hobby. I don't know why I came to that. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. you know, tons of single board bitches in pottery classes. Okay, someone's like, going to a comedy to show. There you oh, go. Comedy. Oh Chrissy Mayer's yeah. co- Lila Hart's comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keanu Chong. Yo. Um, I feel like honestly, I'm sorry, I got really excited because I love D. But honestly, finding someone who has similar hobbies as you that's not drinking, I think is the best way to find someone. Hundred percent. Yeah. Go to a and single I- mom's uh Go to a single pregnant woman's meetup group. <laughs> no, they're not a drinking. Class. Go to a PTA meeting and look for the, for the and divorce. Class. There you go. <laughs> okay. They're ready to cut a deal. Yeah, they're ready to cut a deal. <laughs> show up a, a little a little ma, a Lamaze class and see if anyone needs a partner. Yeah, see if anyone needs a yes. partner. I'll be here for you, mommy. Yes. <laughs> no, don't do that. That is not right. Okay. Don't be a creep. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> Jadine, thank you for the super chat. Lila, have you ever gone coyote hunting? No, I have not, but I've gone fishing and I want to go squirrel hunting, especially the squirrels in my backyard. I'm, I'm going to try to kill one. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> have you guys I'm seen fun. the girl who cat, like does catfishing tours? I think in like Alabama recently, she's been kind of all over twitter i guess someone i don't yeah. know this girl's yeah and like i guess someone was like oh she's she, her voice should be illegal but i think she's just we talked about this thing. last week on simcast yeah, yeah. Oh handle the noodler lila uh, we talked about this in depth last week um this girl was coming for her and then we got confused that the, the girl in the uh the uh, lebanese wedding montage was actually this girl but it wasn't like <laughs> that was so funny. Yes, I yeah, think Hannah's night. a ten. I think she's probably the Hannah cutest Barron. thing to ever exist. She's yeah. hot. As hell. I think um, both girls yes. in the argument are hot, and any man that's well, the, participating the would is, be happy to have them. The funny thing is, Hannah's not even in the argument. It's just this other chick going, "Her voice should be illegal," and she's not that pretty. Look at me and my. I don't know. I. It's just. It was. It was. It's a very strange post. To like post another woman and say she's not feminine enough. I'm I'm a true ten. Only men were, should be attracted to me. It was a very odd. Yeah. So post. that is nothing but engagement bait. Yeah, I I yes. think she was tired. Engagement noodling. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, I think they're in cahoots together, uh, Ashton. I think that uh, Samira was actually like hired by uh, yes, what's the name of the coffee company? To do that, Black Rifle, <laughs> yeah, Black Rifle Coffee Company to like talk shit on her, and then it was why? Like, why would Black Rifle Coffee Company be involved? Because now we all know who mm-hmm. Hannah Barron is, and we're all talking about her, and she uh, promotes Black Rifle Coffee Company, oh, and she had a campaign. Oh, and she promo code right away, and it's like, which it's genius marketing. I can't even hate on that. Are you kidding? If I Hannah Barron, if Hannah Barron was like, I'm going on a comedy tour, everybody would buy tickets, and I'd be like, you know what? I'd be so them. annoyed. But I would understand. <laughs> but you know, yeah. so it's like maybe we should hire someone. I hope Samira attacks me. I mean, I should get the little women to attack me. I need a Ricky, <laughs> that midget man that was riding in the leprechaun thing. He should attack me. I just all of you should attack me. That would actually help my career. Perfect. <laughs> so oh, yeah. the, the hate crime, <laughs> Lila. That's <your> only. <laughs> <laughs> This has been trending a lot. I think the last, this week, really, it's been a hot topic. So, and I've seen this girl because she's one of the girls who's gone very viral from the whatever podcast. I think her name is Nala. And she's the one who just, she seems like, like a, she seems like a yeah. cartoon. She's constantly like crossing her eyes, sticking her tongue out. Like, <laughs> and you're always like, is there a person in there? Or is she just like a series of, of sound effects, you know? Yeah. And of course she went very viral as a result on the show for, it and she's all about like i mean i haven't looked at her only fans but uh you know all about like um like i'm a daddy i love to cheat like all saying all the things that like a certain type well, of that man was obvious like, a lot of that was yeah. fair that was to get her only fans notice i feel like a lot of the girls that go on that show don't care that they're being insulted or trolled they just do whatever they can to get their only fans out there because i bet you Marketing. anything yeah. i have those same cat ears <laughs> very popular so this oh my is her. yeah nala and uh this was just she's, her face was stuck like this that's a yeah, face for only fans <laughs> and uh 
I guess this is someone made a meme. Body count 30, used up whole, used up whole with Bible. Now she just has a dress. Oh, it's more than that. <laughs> and sure. if you're like me, you can be both. <laughs> you know what? Inspiring. Men love that <laughs> face, okay? Men, she was in Men a 0.1. Men love that face. Any man in here that's like, oh, no, no, they like it. They're jacking off to it right now. <laughs> I guarantee you someone in this chat has their dick out. I know you do. <laughs> and if you have your dick out, you better I super chat. Who it is. Yeah. Super chat if you have your dick out. And let us <laughs> yeah, know. that's right. 20 bucks, please. <laughs> so I was annoyed with this guy Ryan talking about this because he says he's not a Christian, but he is passing judgment on her for what he says. He's just she's just converting over to getting all of her sins absolved or whatever. How uh, dare is that the point of Christianity? Yeah, literally, <laughs> the point yeah. of Christianity is forgiveness and not having to like. Jesus went out of his way to speak literally directly to prostitutes, the only, you know, the oldest profession in the world. And he went and ate with them and he went out of his way to talk to them. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that God will forgive every kind of sin, even sexual sins. And people like Ryan can't handle it because they think it's not fair. I guess that she gets forgiven, but it turns out that yeah. everyone actually can be forgiven all their sins. Oh. If we talk to God about it. And that's between those two. Yeah. I don't care. You know, whatever. Yes. You don't think it's a PR stunt on her, Andy? I don't care. I, Honestly, I really don't. Because Ooh. if it is, I, I mean, would... I don't know. I'm just saying. So her OnlyFans is still up, we noticed. And oh, I don't okay, like that. Okay. I was like, you know, I'm cynical. Um, it's possible. Carrie's very smart. We can read what she has to say. This only uh, so Carrie made a good star. tweet about this. This OnlyFans uh, corn star who apparently used to defend infidelity and all sort of things just got saved by the power. The power of Christ compelled her. Uh, deleted her OnlyFans account. <laughs> she has been proclaiming her salvation. Praise God. I guess I'm not plugged into Christian Twitter, whatever that is, because I missed some people throwing stones at her, calling her an irredeemable whore and more. Only now learning about it. it I think... Uh, it's thankfully a minority, but I don't understand the people who do that. Jesus can redeem and transform anybody. Yeah. To crap all over his redemption, transformation, and work in a person is not Christ-like. I don't know who you people are who do to do this, and I don't want to know you either. It makes me all the more grateful for the wise and sincere Christians I met when I first found God who weren't afraid to speak the truth to me but to also do it with love. Right. I'm um, thinking about this girl's obvious new joy uh, all weekend and praying for her as she faces the spiritual attacks that are bound to come with new faith. Satan wasn't paying attention to her before, but he sure will be now. And so let's listen to her little blurb. It's five minutes long. We might not get to the whole thing, but um, yes. Good morning, everybody. Okay. So really quick, I have a couple things to address and I just need you to listen to me. So I've had quite a few people reach out to me, comment, you know, just truly curious about what and why I changed. So, so listen, I was a pastor's kid for almost all my life. I grew up in church. I was always in church. You know, I was also homeschooled. So my life truly felt like a cage. And I'm not saying Christianity is a cage. I'm saying religion was the cage. I was a Baptist, you know, I was a Baptist pastor's child for the longest time, right? Me and my family did not have a good relationship. You know, I'm in the middle of five life. children, so I'm talking about Finally, my other brothers and sisters. She's, she's a real person. You can see a real mm -hmm. person in there. Yeah. Every yeah. Yeah. seen of her from whatever has been like just a series of sound effects and like <laughs> doing the things that right. girls so, like do when you're like, ago, I exist to just turn on men. Like, sure, that could be something you can do, but like, she came across like that was her only purpose in life. She yeah. was, yeah, very, from what I remember, she's really smart and realized this is what will make me money for now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then, and I will get on this big podcast, and now she can turn it around. And I'm not go, saying like, that to brag. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying well, that she probably the like built a good savings account and whatnot, and now she's like, life. well, he right. has and, a budget. And she's on TikTok. So, so and what do those so people do on TikTok? Million, that, okay, great. Right. The devil can do that, that sometimes, me. right? But I truly have gifts and talents. I just did not use them in the right way. And I'm reaching out to anyone who's like questioning what they should do in their life. And I turn porn. That's what we're gonna call it. Okay, so. This is just me sharing my personal, personal experience with you. 
So I reached out and did corn for four years. Um, and Pandemic I showed daughter. myself all over the internet. <laughs> I said crazy things on podcasts. If you don't know the, I love cheating podcast. Um, and so I met this person who's now my partner Aww. and he truly showed me God's love. He was sending me Bible Pause verses. It. And isn't that uh, the definition of a traditional relationship where the man leads? I was just going to say, <laughs> he found a traditional man who was like, listen, this is what you used to do, but I'm going to show you a better life. We're going to get you turned around. And yeah. I want to build this life yeah. with you. That is what it means to be a traditional man. And mm -hmm. like, I'm not saying like, you got to do it with, you know, a corn star or whatever. There are still traditional women out there. But in order to have a traditional relationship, it, it you gotta be a. If you're the man, you have to be the leader, right? That's what traditionalism is, according to everyone who talks about traditionalism. So it, it seems like she found someone who really showed her guidance that she didn't have before. Yeah, yeah. and you right. can be a woman with a strong personality and still have the your mm -hmm. man lead you. Like it doesn't mean you cease to exist. Your personality goes yeah. away. <laughs> you become like. Uh, just with no agency, right? Oh, yeah. I have said from the neck up. Yeah, dude, yeah, I have so many thoughts about this because I was homeschooled and I saw so many people come out of homeschooling like this and just go buck wild. And I never really figured out why I didn't, except that I pretty much had my my head on straight my entire life. I knew exactly what I wanted to. Like I wanted to pursue the truth. I wanted to make sure that I was always trying to figure it out, no matter what I did made plenty of mistakes but i never went like this direction but i saw it so much i feel like even if it is a publicity stunt i think it's great because i feel like there are lots of other only fan stars who might be like hey you know what maybe this isn't for me you know i'm letting my dad down let's be real i'm really disappointing my father right I'm now. i'm just skeptical about everybody every yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you're lying you're lying you're lying you're lying so but i think even if she is lying those. A you lot know, of girls like, who do OnlyFans don't actually do corn. A lot of them do like the majority that I personally know do like lose and mean, like just sexy little cartoon bing, bing, characters. Bing. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm not fucking Bisconti on my OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very <laughs> mild OnlyFans. Um, I would watch but, it, but just as a friend. And right. I would support it, it. Listen, <laughs> you could listen. Work on OnlyFans if you wanted. You could do any anything on there. You could literally fans. sit there in a nun costume and make raviolis. And like, you like, really could. And I think I will start, actually. That sounds <laughs> quite enticing. No, that was the I'm first thing I did, actually, on my OnlyFans. Like, it was a whole joke when I first started. <laughs> right. I but Why I feel like, regardless, if you're even if you're shoving, like, a 13-inch giant vegetable up your hoo-ha, mm -hmm. I still think that could be your prerogative, and that's what you want to do. Like, right. I feel like my mind really got changed when I went on the wet spot and – we met our new friend and we yes. saw a bunch of stuff and that she likes to put in her butt. And I <laughs> really enjoyed talking to her and she was really sweet. Don't and call I had a genuine stuff. good interaction <laughs> with her and she felt like a genuine good person. So right. I, of course people, yeah. you can't, you, it's, it's, it's how you grew up. It's how you, it's who, whomever yeah. you are. Like my parents have no issue with me. I, I'm a comedian first. And a yes. screamer, I suppose. But and like Chrissy always said, my OnlyFans is basically just an accessory to my comedy. I, I always put it like, it, if you want to see something a touch sexier than you see on Instagram. It's just something I did. Will I walk down the aisle with an OnlyFans? Probably not. But I don't care how far you're going on it or how not far you are. Yeah, It's a woman's prerogative. To do yeah. that if they want If you to. want to dress as sexy courage, the cowardly dog like myself, you are yeah. free to do that. <laughs> and do it that I am one. now <laughs> subscribing to your OnlyFans because <laughs> that sounds quite enticing. And that was my was the favorite one you think that this I literally look at every one of my favorite cartoon characters and like, how can I make this sexy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's like said, free money. Oh. People, it, it's so true. It's like, I, I don't know. It just... Because Julie said you your point of view represents a lot of people in the chat, and a lot of people are probably watching this going, Yeah, right. She's a good yeah. talker, she knows what'll get her clicks, she yeah. knew how to get to the top tippy top 0.01 percent of OnlyFans. She yeah. could probably get to the top of point whatever of any field. So She's what is smart. sticking out to so, you? I, well, I've seen, I mean, obviously, people do things for whatever reason. I re recently saw a guy who said he 
got these fake veneers and he dragged it on for like the longest time and then finally was like, oh, just kidding, y'all. So I don't know. I'm skeptical of everybody online, everything, everywhere. But if this is true, then it would, you know, kind of the, the argument falling apart of, you know, if you do these kind of things, you'll never find a man. Nobody will ever want you. That's not true. Felty so, made a good point yeah. in the chat. She knows where her trends are going. She is following Kat Von D's footsteps. Oh, yeah. Oh. And that's something that, that's good point. Maybe onto something there. But either yeah. way, let's say she is grifting, right? Let's say she is grifting. Let's say that she's, or maybe she's just doing it because she, she fell in love with a guy and he's encouraging her to do it. If this lasts into a lifelong thing and it actually helps her find happiness. That's great. And she actually does, you know, find, you know, build happiness and build a community and find yeah. support that she's always needed. And that's a good thing. That's mm -hmm. what should matter at the end. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why people are mad at her about it. I'm like, people are what, so what do you want her to do? What do you weird. want her to do? You want her to yeah. keep doing it? You want her to not do it? Like, keep what, putting what? cucumbers up the butt? Who knows? Yeah. You know, I, I, also, I just know that if she also just came out and said, and now these are my tour dates for my comedy shows, she would sell <laughs> out every room. Yeah. And everyone would come see her. And that is the only <laughs> thing I am slightly pissed off about. So, again, mm -hmm. if anyone could just drag me online, start <laughs> a fight with me, call me names. What, what do you want me to say? I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> You're just too likable, Lila. It's, it's, That's nobody the biggest will. problem. Agreed. Uh, but my so, favorite part about this whole thing, Chrissy, is she talks um, when she – uh, and I watched the whole five minutes before and she talks about how she's like, I was in the 0.1% and that is very difficult to do. And it, is. Like, oh, it, and it is, but it's like, yeah, it is kind of work. funny that she's still very proud of it. So it's like, there's <laughs> something interesting. About I mean, that, Hey you know? man, I, I'm in the 0.1% now and it's, it's uh, hard. It's hard to get there. So well, we're proud of That's hard work. Thank you. A sexy courage to Carly dog. He only can get me so far. <laughs> I'm literally going to subscribe now. I have to see that. Yeah, that sounds so <laughs> enticing. So I've tried to find yeah. Nala's Instagram, and uh, I and I okay, I found it. I'm not going to bring up anything untoward, but uh, this is when you search for this chick's name in OnlyFans. She's either disabled it or because now she's got just a picture of a sunset and her with a dog. Wow. So, you can't have a dog on there. Remember when I tried to make wow. my profile picture a dog? I didn't yeah. realize. I just thought it was a cute picture. That's not right. So maybe she truly has uh, disabled Wait. the page. Did your picture of your dog get taken down? Is that like it was like a hinting of bestiality or something? Like oh, I told, well, when I first subscribed to OnlyFans and tried to make my profile, I'm like, I'll just pick a picture. I picked a, just a selfie of me and my dog. <laughs> and they were like, I'm like, why won't it go through? They're like, no animal content whatsoever. Oh, and I went, okay. <laughs> that does make sense. That makes sense. Um, yeah. yeah. So yes. that's <laughs> odd that he, all right, I guess they've changed the rules on OnlyFans. I don't know. But... Maybe it's because she's such a big creator. I don't know. Yeah. yeah possibly. Yeah. Right. I mean, OnlyFans originally wasn't supposed to be like a corn site. It was supposed to be for people starting podcasts. It was supposed to be like a new Patreon. Like a Patreon, right. Yeah. yeah, but Patreon doesn't allow nudity. OnlyFans does. And at one mm. point, OnlyFans wanted to remove nudity. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, they quickly were like, oh, we're not going to do this because they make too much money off of it. So it, it it's 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 a corn site. Let's be honest. Julissa, like, I know well, you have to bounce. Part, yeah. um, right. I, I yeah. know Julissa has to bounce. Um, mm -hmm. Any final thoughts on on this chick giving giving up her OnlyFans one percenting life to to follow Christ or to be uh, a uh, an honest woman? Um, I'm at a point in life where I really think people should just do what's best for them and what comes Great. naturally to them because uh, we are not all the same and we will never be the same. And so everybody's living different lives and, and these giant platforms that are like, if you don't do it like this, then yeah. your life is wrong. That's no. And that's why I want a live, I want a live debate. Pearl, Myron, I will get on and go in. If you see the interview that he did with Brittany Renner, that one was really good. I don't know if y'all seen that one, but she asked Ooh, him. Oh, no, I haven't. She's like, what makes you so special? And he just like, uh, 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 you know, freezes up. 
because oh he's like going in on her and she's like you, you talk about me being with all these dudes what makes you so special he's like, and he's like oh i never said i was and then so it gets all awkward and weird and so you know i, I amazing <laughs> I'm all for people having the beliefs that they do. Like, there's a reason why you believe those things. Like, believe it, but also know that everyone's not like you, too. So, yeah. we're all shades of gray. Just yeah. do, do what you like. You do what you like. I don't know. Do what, what you want to do. I love that. Jalisa, do you read people's charts? Like, if somebody in the chat was like, I want to know more, more about myself Jalisa can you scrutinize me based on my birthday and chart do yeah I that? did I actually did that for uh, did it live on a on a podcast that I did recently I've done a Christian podcast I've done like a super like hood podcast I've done you know uh info wars we've I've done it all I've done it all I've seen everything and I tell people why they like what they like why they do what they do and you know, my eyes have been opened. I was in the Catholic church for a long time. Ooh, That's yeah. really cool. Cause I, I yeah. know like my, you know, my sun and my moon and my rising, I have no idea what any of it means yeah. at all. What's so. your rising sign? Uh, I'm a Gemini rising, Libra, oh. uh, sun, Capricorn, moon. Oh, okay, okay. I'm a Scorpio <laughs> rising. So I'm Scorpio rising. So that's why this only fan stuff and all that, that's, it don't really, it don't bother me. Yeah. And Aww. that's why I like to wear black and I like to be dark. Yes, like girl. All kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Speaking of dark, do yeah. you not see it? <laughs> <laughs> is, it uh, is it terrible that I'm a Friday the 13th born Scorpio? Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't think yeah. anything is bad. I was born on a Friday too. So Ooh. November 13th Ooh. is your birthday? Friday the 13th of November. And then mm -hmm. Cancer something in a uh, Sagittarius something else. Yeah. So I think I think that's a good balance. Tell me it's a good balance, Julissa. It's all good. I mean, I'm a Sagittarius moon. I'm just using you. My moon sign is Sagittarius, so I'm all about freedom and traveling. And I'm so with you. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, that's Aww. very sad. I know yeah. nothing of this stuff. I don't know if I believe in it or not, or like follow it. But I'm interested if that makes sense. Like I'm did, open minded. Did you grow um, up with like a lot of rules and restrictions? And yeah, my family yeah. was what I call a white wine Democrat family. Like they were. <laughs> very like that's the like capricorn that moon the capricorn moon is capricorn is a strict uh serious upbringing those moon yeah. signs there, i so. rebelled quite a bit in college and mm -hmm. i went through like a i did a whole like i'm like i'm gonna be conservative now and then i was like i know nothing about the world why am i in politics and then now i yeah. dress as slutty cartoon characters yeah. why would i be conservative <laughs> with my that's you that's how you are it's okay yeah. julissa where can people follow you well, if you can find me, because um, when I did that InfoWars interview, they could not find my Twitter. They typed it in and it didn't exist. So oh, my nice. Instagram is on here, Jalisa underscore Danielle. And then Jalisa Danielle underscore is my Twitter handle. But I know you tagged me on your post. But yeah, it's frustrating. You know, trying to teach people about themselves. And it's like I'm talking to a wall sometimes. I'm going to follow you because you are really cool. Follow too. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Everyone yeah, follow Jalisa. On it. Right now. Yes. Oh, yeah. What does your shirt mean? Um, fifth house, this is um, the fifth house of astrology, which is the house of casual romance, creativity, um, children. Um, and I am working with a designer who is all about astrology too. So when you have planets in the fifth house, you're not all about marriage and, and things like that. You're more of like the casual dater. You're the Ooh, one that's like, I don't, like we don't need the government involved, you know? Those kind of things. Can I have something things. inside my fifth house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably yeah, do, which is why kids. usually when you do, you have kids. So usually Perfect. people have to <laughs> <laughs> look at your birth chart. Look at your birth chart and see what you have there. And you probably will have uh, something there because you're pregnant. There you go. Every day before I go to sleep, I go, please don't be in Aries. Please don't yeah. be in Aries. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when would your baby do? Yeah. Uh, the 19th of what? Uh, next month. Of April. That's a long way from Aries, isn't it? I said uh, that's that's, oh, that's a, yeah, it's a bit from Aries. Let me see. It's, it's like Aries. a cup. Yeah, it's Aries. Aries tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the first ones are usually late. If it makes you feel any better, at least a little bit. 
So I was early and I was the oldest. You. I'm going to just yeah. kegel him until it's Taurus season. <laughs> yeah, so Taurus. That way. Good luck. Why, why the <laughs> hair should touch in the baby pool? It's not fair that way. <laughs> Let him <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask. Their pets. <laughs> What's wrong with Aries? Aries Girl. is fiery. Honey. <laughs> an X, yeah. <laughs> yeah I have an X. I have an X as an Aries. Oh my, my brother. I haven't been yeah. impressed by Aries yet. No good, I'm judging yeah. them. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate y'all. Nice. Thanks so much, man. Thanks, Thanks Lisa. See, Thanks. You see you on the internet. <laughs> see you on the internet. <laughs> All right, Erica's an Aries. All right, good, Erica. You are going to help turn my perspective. Oh, Brianna's an Aries too. All right. All right. I'm changing my mind. There you go. I'm changing my mind. There are Don't ones. alienate the Aries. I won't. I won't. All right. All right. I shouldn't. Every I sign has their strengths for sure. Simon Hill X growing. Now I can call my wife an old battle axe. She will love that. Mm -hmm. Do it. <laughs> I love that. Never call a woman that ever in your life. I love that. I'd uh, rather you throw an axe at her. <laughs> Anyone who attacked Lila will answer to Abe Lincoln. Thank you. Thank you. Push ups. Dean, coyote hunting is like dog delete, but legally. Oh, no. Ooh, well, then I'm down. Let's coyote oh, hunt these dogs. <laughs> Dean, again, thank you for the super chat. Oh, I, let me let me play you a. There you go. Okay. <laughs> but, but you showed, she said she has a cheat fantasy on whatever podcast. Yes. Right. She mentioned that. Yeah, she's like, I know you guys saw that, talked about it, blah, blah, blah. James Sharp, Ashton, Nala is the girl with the red hair and the bows in her hair that made a cross-eyed face on the whatever podcast, and you said you did that naturally. That's <laughs> kind of brain syndrome, and I can't move this eye. That was the joke. I don't know if, like... <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so I'm always cross-eyed because I can't, I can't move this eye. That was a joke. And you Thank get... You. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but you get Dwayne syndrome from having sex with too many black guys. Oh, what? Which, <laughs> you're oh, just oh, kidding. Oh, my I'm God. I, I have I'm autism. Kidding. I can't tell people are being sarcastic. I'm no, sorry. Get it, Dwayne. <laughs> All right. Oh, all obviously, syndrome, it's a joke. Actually. Obviously, it's a joke. Push-ups from a Christian perspective. One of the ancestors of Mary and thus Jesus is Rahab. Right. Who was a prostitute in Jericho until she met Joshua. You never and know. She is listed in Jesus' lineage. Like Jesus had wow. prostitutes in his family tree. Was I think Mary Magdalene the same situation where she was, you know, considered like the town Mary harlot, Mary. and then Jesus was like, no throwing stones. And then she was like his favorite disciple, I guess. I that might have been apocryphal. I don't Mary think Mary Magdalene wasn't a disciple. Only the boys were allowed to do she that. She was like a groupie, well, wasn't she? She was a groupie. Well, she followed. Yeah, she was like a big fan of Jesus. She like followed him. And wasn't whatever. she like his favorite or something like that? I Mary know. Magdalene. They thought. Am I just they doing bullshit right now? Am I just, just like, his <laughs> social media? She was all like, of my biblical uh, understanding from Handler. Family Guy. I'm sorry. I oh, okay. <laughs> I explained it. That's okay. I know. I still don't know. I went to Catholic school for 10 years and I am not altogether sure other than they, they wanted to throw stones at her until she was dead. So she was a disciple. a disciple. I didn't what, know. What is that, that in? Disciples? Is that like in the book of Thomas? Because I don't think that's in the, the typical married her. Ah, there you go. That is apocryphal. That is not in the Bible. Jesus did not get married in the Bible. So I don't know about any of that extra stuff. I just know that, you know. The Wait, the 12 disciples. One wasn't a woman. See, it's extra biblical. Like it's Ooh. in uh, like the Ooh. book of Thomas and the book of Judas Maccabees or whatever. I'm not super familiar. It's like a deep dive. All right. Well, I stand corrected. Just mm. stuff. Yeah. I don't know how much of that's true. There's a reason it's not in the regular Bible. <laughs> um, Mark of reality. Aries have a lot of drive and tend to be hyper successful people. All right. I'm open to the idea of an Aries baby. Okay, Mark. Uh, I guess it's not up to me, ultimately. That's right. <laughs> be. It's up to Mary Magdalene yeah, in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lydia, how much of your birth did you just do sort of casually at your house? Like, that's uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just do as much of it at my house as possible and then just sashay over with, like, 20 to 30 minutes left. That's where we go. I have seen 
I've seen lots, lots of women. ladies do that. And I'm going to send you some links to some super good Instagram ladies. And you already have a link to the nursing course. Um, yes. I'm going to do that this week. I did not do any of it at home. I was induced. Uh, I was starting to get preeclampsia. And when they induced me, they're like, oh, actually, you were. You did have preeclampsia. So it's a good thing we did it when we did it. And I was like, wow, you're not kidding. So it wasn't painful. Nothing felt off. But they're like, your blood pressure's high. And preeclampsia is basically like your organs shut down and then you die and your baby dies. So it's not good. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Is it, like, what's worse, preeclampsia or clampsia? Uh, clampsia is clampsia. When, eclampsia is when it's actually happening. And then preeclampsia is like the run up. They don't really oh. know why it happens. But yeah, you they, don't they hear about just the regular clampsia. You just on oh, no. clampsia. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're looking for the signs. But no, I did all of it in the hospital and it was a week long. It took a while. A week. <laughs> and we lived in the hospital. It was great. We had an air mattress. It was okay, but it was not, not an enough. air mattress. No, my my husband was like sleeping on the air mattress. Oh, so. I thought you, oh. you 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 poor no. thing were on the air mattress. No, 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 no. Like, no, no. In the hospital like, bed, and he put her yeah. to give birth on the air mattress. <laughs> on the air mattress. <laughs> and no, was like, yes. is the air is the American health system so bad they're pouring this poor woman to give birth on an air mattress? You have post plantsia. <laughs> no. I so I guess technically your blood pressure can stay higher for like the rest of your life. I've been avoiding checking it since my baby was born. Because I'd rather focus on being yeah. Happy. Who I'm needs that? Baby. <laughs> I don't need that fine. negativity. Kim Kardashian had pre preeclampsia. Yeah, like it's very painful. It doesn't Hate care bringing them up all money the time. Have. So, yeah, it's not good. Yo, preeclampsia. It sounds like a really bad medication for like heartburn or something. Yeah, it's like, not good. <laughs> Hang up your doctor to see if preeclampsia is right for you. Definitely not right for you. <laughs> I love how whenever you see like those medications, like there's always like the worst like defects afterwards. Like, oh, if you need to take this headache medication, you may die. You might yeah. die. It's all good. Take <laughs> antidepressants make you want to kill yourself sometimes. <laughs> right. uh, alive yourself, excuse me. <laughs> it's funny because I was on like antidepressants and anxiety meds for the longest time, and I feel like when I sort of weaned off of them, um, and I, I obviously talked to my doctor about it and, and just cut clean. When I went off of them, I felt like I was less depressed and less anxious. That's how it enough. works. So weird, yeah. right? Yeah. It's really wow. weird. But you got to be careful when you quit antidepressants. Do you got to wean well, off well, it. And you need, you need well. to actually work with the doctor to do it properly. Because if you go straight off of it, you, you will go crazy. I mean, like. Pew. Out of yeah, you're not in control of your thoughts. Yeah. It's bad. I just stopped because I woke up one morning and I was taking after eating disorder therapy. They gave me, I think, uh, Zoloft, and then I wo I never woke up in my life and thought, uh, I don't think I even want to be alive anymore. I said goodbye. <laughs> I yeah, took it away. Never took good. one again uh, yeah. because I'm like maybe this isn't right for me. All right, I'll eat. We'll be fine. Like <laughs> we'll it's figure cool. this out. Yeah. They want to give you Zoloft for an eating disorder. Oh god, they just that yeah, doesn't make any crazy. sense. It makes no sense. It was uh yeah, I think it was Zoloft. And I went, I shouldn't be feeling like I'm just so yeah. No, it was not Worse. good. Me yeah. and Visconti just talked about that today. Yeah. It, it, it shouldn't be a side effect. Um, but you know, big uh, but you know, uh you know who who at least we're all definitely happier than are the woke. <laughs> woke is more way. likely to be unhappy, anxious, and depressed. Yes. New study suggests. Wonder why. Because they yes. can't take a joke because everything's serious. Everything needs to be worried about. I would well, even argue that. <laughs> I would argue just being in politics in general, making everything political makes people unhappy. Yep. God, yeah. Psychological researchers in Finland, the Scandinavians are always on top of this stuff before we are. They've created an assessment to help measure an individual's commitment to principles of social justice and made some surprising findings across the Finnish population, um, including a negative correlation between progressive ideals and levels of happiness. Mm -hmm. uh, published in the Scandinavian Journal of Psychology suggests other Western nations may see similar patterns among their socially conscious citizens 
Ooh, okay. The debate was largely data free and could thus be considered a worthwhile question to study how prevalent these attitudes are. No reliable and valid instrument existed prior to the study to assess the extent and prevalence of these attitudes. So he set out to develop one. Um, their research included a reading on intersectional feminism, critical race theory, queer theory, and other relevant academic disciplines that inform critical social justice. <laughs> the survey included 851 adult participants, most of whom were associated with the University of Turku. After refining the initial scale, the study was expanded. Blah, blah, blah. Here is what the truism, the seven truisms of woke people. If white people have an average or higher level of income than black people, it is because of racism. University reading lists should include fewer white or European authors. Microaggressions should be challenged often and actively. Trans women who compete with women in sports are not helping women's rights. We don't need to talk more about the, the color of people's skin. Uh, that's all they talk about, though. Uh, a white person cannot understand how a black person feels equally well as another black person. Oh, a member of a privileged group can adopt features or cultural elements of a less privileged group. I would even argue that, like, some people, some, some people who are conservative, specifically involved in red pill spaces, aren't very happy either. And I don't think it's so much politics based. I think it's people who spend too much time on the Internet. Yes, I'm inclined to agree. And I'm mm -hmm. I'm personally inclined to think that red pill people are a form of like leftism. Like yes, wokeism. of like wokeism. It's the it's yeah. the conservative woke. Oh my yeah. gosh, I'm so glad someone else here agrees with me on yeah. that. <laughs> I'm not sure it's conservative because they're kind of like they don't hold the state they don't hold the views I hold. Like I've been mm. conservative my whole life and that ain't that ain't it. <laughs> but it's like some form of like reactionary to the woke right. left. And I, I honestly, I really think it's people who are just online arguing all day. Turn um, on online. And I, I honestly feel like if a good portion of people who argued politics online um, dedicated more of their time to outside activities and being amongst people in the real world, uh, they, they wouldn't focus so much on what strangers think on the internet. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. Get some vitamin D and call it a yeah. day. Go yeah. out and yeah. walk women and then come more back. Than men. Uh, three out of five women view woke ideas positively, but only one out of seven men. This is especially true of women in fields such as social sciences, education, and humanities, or as I like to call the useless subjects. Um, participants who worked in STEM were more likely to critique social justice efforts associated with being woke. Interesting. The most concerning finding was the relationship between mental health and the agreement with the scale. Uh, they found a high prevalence of anxiety and depression in people who believe the statement, if white people have, on average, a higher income than black people, it is because of racism. Wow. Maybe because mental gymnastics causes anxiety and depression. <laughs> they were, If they were left-wing, they were more likely to report lower mental well-being hmm haven't they found that these women are like overwhelmingly on antidepressants slash alcoholics yeah that would also be a factor as well with what we just yeah. talked about yeah like like um kiana was talking about how antidepressants actually made her more <laughs> depressed which maybe uh, somebody should be looking at that before prescribing them like candy. <laughs> I mean, a weird I think because I've never felt depressed a day in my life. I'm just happy to wake up in the morning. But they well, that's you're I pretty Keanu. Yeah. yeah. No, I am. I'm like, I want to grab the gusto of life. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not anxious. Yes. I you know, and anxious, I but not not depressed. But I'm um, not really like, I'm not left wing or right wing. I, I consider myself politically homeless now, but if I had to yeah. choose, I guess I lean a little bit more on liberal stuff on a few things. Um, um yeah. I don't believe in the left versus right paradigm really anymore. But I will say that like I wouldn't be surprised if a huge reason why I guess the woke are more depressed is because everybody's like who I, I guess is woke they're almost like looking for something to be angry about and one can argue the same thing about the conservative online crowd but it's especially prominent in woke culture where it's like we have to find something to be angry about we have to write an article on this we have to be angry about this movie or this show or this song we have to 
find something that makes us upset. And mm-hmm. if you're looking for things to make you upset, you're going to be upset. Yes, especially right. the people whose professions are in these woke arenas, like the race hustlers, the the DEI folks. It's like if you can't come up with shit that's racist, homophobic, transphobic, you're out of a job. So yeah, that's look true. at the environmentalists. Okay, Greta Thunberg was <laughs> skipped school and got on a ship to to come to America, not on an airplane. To, to be so upset about the the environment. If I had to worry about the environment and the world hasn't ended, it's just something to obsess over, to be upset about. Or, mm-hmm. or am I wrong here? Like, No, you're right. I don't know. I mean, it's just something to obsess over. Well, what's happening with this? I think uh, your own happiness and not... I can't worry about the environment or the world. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Is the environment worrying nice. about me? Right, I know. No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Her parents let her get on a fucking ship and come here and talk about it. What was the last time that tree comforted me when I was crying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fair I, enough. Exactly. Right. If you stare at the internet long enough, you'll get upset about something. So I think also, oh, like, whatever no. adults are funding her should be tried for child abuse, to be quite honest, because they're using this girl as a puppet. Yeah, it's so weird. They're using yeah. this as a media Thank tool. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yay. What's up, Phil? Phil Labonte will be uh, coming on the channel, I believe, next week or maybe the week after I have an interview with you. I'm really excited about that. I think Ooh. you're coming on. I could be he wrong. It's fun to chat with. This week or next week? Great guest. Ta-da. Yes. Hello, ladies. Hope you're having a good stream. Thank you, Phil. Thank, Thank you. you. Phil. I was it's just commenting. Jason. Oh, wait. Go ahead. Oh, Jason Scholl. Chrissy, please name your baby Adolf. You know what? If he's born on the 20th, I'll, I'll think about it. Wait, isn't that 420 day? You have to name him something else. If that's 420. Huh. Well, yeah. Hitler's birthday is 420, isn't it? Right. But it's still 420, right? It's like the mm-hmm. weed days. So you have to it's so it's name weed. your baby Adolf. I beg of you. I I I know you're joking, but please don't. It's first of all, I even like Hitler aside, it's just an ugly name. That it could true. be his confirmation name, maybe. I knew Horrible. a guy in high school named Adolfo. It's like it's like That's George. Different. Who wants to name their kid George? I know a, a little boy. His George. name is George. He's four, and he's very distinguished. Or Rob. Yeah. His suit and a job. His name is George Glass. He's my boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say though it. that I'm I'm at the point where, you know, kind of like what Ashton said, she's politically homeless. I'm at the point where you know if Russia, China, whoever wants to send me money, I will go ahead and promote whatever you would like me to promote. <laughs> I am I am I'm available. Uh, just you can Venmo me, Zell me, PayPal me, and I will just promote whatever the Russian that flags. You want. Pasties on your nipples and <laughs> like if Lila dance. starts promoting oh, the vaccine, I'll be I'll be like, good for you. She got paid, you know, because <laughs> I I did a lot of things uh, where I wasn't paid to say anything. In fact, it it, it slightly hurt me a lot, and uh, <laughs> yeah. I uh, slightly I, I, a lot. I can be bribed now. You gotta I be, be bribed. Now. And then, and then I will come out after I've been bribed and paid a lot of money and say I've had a change of heart. And I came to Jesus. Yes. Why are you not saying your yeah? A change of heart should be one of your streams. Oh, a change of yes. heart. That's many, yes. That's, yes. Nice. That's, that's, that's cute. Great. I love this. A change yeah. of heart where we discuss <laughs> different things, opposites yeah. of stuff. Yes. I think also people are mad at that Nala girl because it's like she went, and she was able to do all that freaky deaky shit get wild and crazy, do all that. And then she still is probably going to have a happy ending and get married and have a baby and, and be a millionaire. And Jesus loves her. And I just think that Jesus she definitely all. loves me, but I don't think I'm one of his favorites. You know what I mean? And I don't know if anybody <laughs> in here is one of his favorites either. She is one of his favorites because wow, what a life story. You went buck fucking wild, made that cross-eyed face, made a shit ton of money. Now she's going to be invited to the blaze. Okay. They're going to want to interview her. The whole lineup. She could write a book. She could start stand up. Good for her. Yeah. She is Jesus. Watch her. Lila, watch her do Ali Best Stucky's show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kat Von D, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I think people get real sour grapes about it because they're like, this person was so bad. And you know what? There are literally people in the Bible who did that. They were like, this woman is a horrible woman. How dare was you it, talk was to Jesus it made Peter sour grapes guards? into wine with his powers. So yes, yes, exactly. You know. <laughs> Is St. Peter, like, didn't he betray Jesus? Didn't he, like, give Jesus up or something like that? Now he guards the gates of heaven? Right, yeah. So, or is it also a Family Guy reference? Even that I yeah, even if you watch Family Guy for your Bible references, you can be saved. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Ooh. Ooh. Where's my food? Come on, man. Oh, that looks good. Um, did you eat six dates a day, Lydia? I did, and I didn't do jack. I also drank raspberry leaf tea, and that didn't do anything. And I did curb walking, and that didn't do anything either. There you go. Yeah, that's what's up. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> this, I never thought it would taste stuff. like raspberry. It doesn't. It just tastes, no, it tastes like, like regular leaves. ass, regular <laughs> ass tea. It tastes like leaves. It's not great. I drink so much of it. Baby comes and baby wants. Don't worry about it. My yeah. mom drank pina coladas in Mexico and said, oh, baby's protected. Who cares? It's Plain fine. Dates. And I said, well, all right. Well, well they now tell I am. They the women to do the dates and the tea so that the baby can just fucking Kool-Aid man out of your snatch. Like, <laughs> easy. Yes. Yeah. Christy, I that thing is coming oh, out yeah. early. It is. It is. Christy, yeah. I, met, I met this girl who told me her coworker is pregnant, like six or seven months pregnant, and she drinks red wine every night. See, you can have what? one glass, Italian? apparently. She's just drinking a glass of red wine, and it's apparently she did that with her first child, and the kid was fine, and now she's doing that with the second child, and she's not worried. I'm I like, was going to say, that sounds like a second child situation. <laughs> yeah, it does, like, and it sounds like she's Jesus' favorite, because yes. how the hell is she getting away with drinking red wine, right. and the baby's coming out fucking fine? Okay? Yeah. Jesus I mean, was born without even, you know, any semen, apparently. So yeah, it was, that's who right. knows? It was there are no rules. Well, that's for Mormon. <laughs> the Mormons believe that that Mary physically had sex with God. Oh, kind of weird, though. I was almost a Mormon, bit. actually. A little bit. What odd. position do you think, missionary? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, probably missionary. Probably. Definitely. Probably so. Okay. <laughs> Before we move on from this topic, I have to say, I was just talking about this earlier. We were watching, we were watching a Blair White video and I was like, uh, Blair was just responding to videos of like woke teachers or whatever. And I'm like, I feel like we need a war or some kind of actual conflict because these people are pulling it out of thin air because they're just like, huh. I need to have an enemy. I need to be a victim and I'm going to make everybody else the oppressor. No, yeah. no, you need an actual struggle. You know, it's an actual struggle is going to school and going to the gym and making yourself better and making your credit score better. That's an actual struggle. Being an adult. Trying to give birth without an epidural. Right. Not an yes. air mattress. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Having your husband to have dates and racial slurs. Right. Thanks. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. These people, they, they, you can tell they need a struggle. And because when, I forget who was, oh, it was Jordan Peterson who was talking about how when you're self, like, so fixated on yourself, it's miserable. Like, there's yeah. nothing. It's and it's, it's true. Like, I, I've gone through stage in my life where I was super focused on myself in a way that I wasn't improving myself. I was just thinking about myself a lot. Oh, man. That is the seventh ring of hell as far as you I'm obsessed concerned. and create problems. Right. Exactly. 20s. Yeah, exactly. That's what your 20s are for. <laughs> you yeah. Your 20s better. <laughs> that is what your 20s are for. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, Being a little I'm dipshit and <laughs> doing everything wrong. It's true. Yep. <laughs> it's like, no, you just need more shit going on. You're not you're not depressed. Right. You need to do more. Yeah. You just need goals. Need stuff. Yeah, do that. Simon Hope. Woke tards are kids who played sports with no score. Ugh, you need a score. Self-esteem. Yeah, everybody gets a trophy. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, a that's winner. the thing, though, is like, right? Like, whoever thought of like participation trophies is like not only hurting kids in the sense of like, oh, let's just make think make them think everyone's a winner. It, you're also kind of denying a kid finding out what they're meant to do because not every kid is meant for sports. My dad was so obsessed with me doing softball and soccer, and I remember he just sitting out in the field making daisy chains. And like when I got participation trophies, it meant nothing. But like all of these kids who are terrible at sports, like there's a there should be other ways for like other you know outlets for them to find what they're good at. And we can't really tell them they're going to be good at something else if we're letting them know that they're going to win at everything. That's yeah. the problem. Right. 
And some people yeah. aren't competitive. Some kids, you know what? Maybe your kid wants to be a poet and doesn't want to play soccer. You know, you can't compete in Maybe poetry. your kid's gay and yeah. wants to write poetry. Maybe uh, they want yeah. to study cartoon <laughs> characters for a living. There you go. You never know. I think participation trophies are a lot like a bringer comedy show. You know, oh, you've got yeah. a lineup of comedians. Some people are LeBron mm -hmm. James and some people have Down syndrome and you still have to pass the ball to them. You know, it's just... That's true. Not very good. Wait, we have to take a puppy break. Puppy break. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Buffy oh. woke up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my King God. Charles. Yeah. Oh, King Charles. Bye, honey. Oh. Did I snap? Look oh, at I the snaps. snaps. Look at the snaps. <laughs> Look at the snaps. <laughs> You're a little dazed and confused. So oh, hi, honey. Oh, my gosh. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't get enough. I can't. No. You know what this dog reminds me of? I don't know mm -hmm. why. Remember the Berenstein Bears? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Explain. Want to say hi the, again? You know the Berenstein Bears when they get a new puppy? It just reminds me of that. Let's. I'm That's looking so at this cute. dog. That you're you're talking about. Yeah. Berenstein now I need Bears to see this puppy. Put, oh, okay. Like, it doesn't look. It doesn't look like the Berenstein Bears new puppy, but feeling. like her, her vibe. Yeah, the vibe of this dog. What's her it's name? Very Buffy, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. oh the puppy. Yeah, it looks like her. That's a King Charles. Yeah. We yeah. always get Lady from Lady and the Tramp. I have to politely explain. Mm -hmm. Lady is a Cocker Spaniel. Buffy is a Cavalier. They're like cousins, but one is larger, <laughs> one is smaller. And one's oh, way cuter. They're also If we're cute. going to be honest. I love them. You're so cute. <laughs> you're, you're oh. She took a nap because she's a little confused right now. She's oh, a baby. So oh man, I gotta get Baron's and Bears books. Yes, you do. Mm. I saw them at the store the other day. I forget where. I think they oh, were at you. Target. No, it wasn't. Like, Target. I remember this book. I remember the Baron's and Bears and the Sitter. Like I can. I probably. My husband says, "Want a puppy?" We already have a puppy and a baby. Oh, it's on Amazon. Yes. We need 10 puppies right. to be happy. Nope. Yes. <laughs> See the one we have now and the baby. We have Again. a puppy, perfectly a puppy at home. That's right. We do. The puppy at home. <laughs> oh, no. Puppy at home. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a good puppy. That one's oh super God. cute, though. Buffy's adorable. How old is she now? She's five months. <laughs> That's my baby's age. She so was baby. born October 5th. Oh, nope. almost the exact She's a Libra. Same She's That's a Libra. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> she has a little apple head, though. It looks like a baseball to me. It's adorable. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Now, is she oh. going to, yeah, could she be like um, an emotional support? Are you going to get her certified? Yeah. I mean, I technically could. I just, I wouldn't abuse it and, like, take her on airplanes and stuff like that. And, like, like I've taken her into Target, like, in her little puppy purse. And I've taken her to, like, Hooters and different outside, yeah. you know, um, restaurants and whatnot. Like, places they would allow her. But, like, I'm not going to be that lady who's, like, here are her papers. She's my emotional support animal, you know, like. But yeah. um, she could. really could be because she's so calm and so sweet. Cavaliers it's are they have a pretty good temperament. So She's I want a big cute. dog though. So my goal is to get the house with the backyard and get a large dog. But so that's your was, starter dog. This, well, I, I grew up with dogs and horses and sheep and goats. And, oh. um, but no, I really want, cause I already have a cat. Uh, but I really wanted a dog. As get well. rid of the cat. Once yeah. you have a dog, <laughs> they are best friends. Cats actually awesome. it's kind of adorable. Cause the cat will groom her. And then if oh, she gets too cute. like crazy, the cat will like bop her on the head and tell her to calm down. Basically, um, <laughs> so she's like a big sister to the to the puppy. It's really cute. Oh, that's adorable. That is. I want cute. a Great Dane. I want a Rottweiler. Do it. You need to get a Great Dane, Lila. Yeah. My brother. <laughs> it'd be bigger. It'd be bigger than you. Amazing. She, she can ride in your war. car. 
Just get around on and that. And it's only a seven year commitment. Yeah, they they what? die at like seven. Yeah, they're so my big. My brother and his boyfriend earlier. have one. I'm like, what is it going to be like? What's eating Gilbert grape? You're going to have to take the thing out of your house and move to the crane or something. Like it they is only live big seven large years. Body. They yeah. live. They their life expectancy is seven years, and they drool and drool and drool. But it's uh, the same yeah. for humans. Big humans live shorter periods of time than shorter humans. You know, don't don't that live they live though. like yeah. eight to eleven years max. That's because pretty they, good. Well, they, you never see extremely, extremely tall old men. Do that's you? True. Yeah, I hope Barry Trump that. lives forever. Is he that tall? Well, I mean, Baron is very tall. He's got seven something. years. Yeah, yeah, he's got seven years. And I guess you do <laughs> shrink that. as you age. But um. I don't know. My grandpa, he was like six foot six, and he lived to be 95 or something. Okay, like so I take back what I said. He was, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's an, he also smoked his entire life, too. So I don't know if he made a blood oath with something or whatever. But like he Again, one of Jesus' favorites right yeah. there. Jesus. I mean, to be fair, he would say his Hail Marys in French for some reason, like every that day. That is so and... chic. I love him. But he, oh God, we're not French. So, so it just doesn't make model. sense. Very cool to smoke. I'd say a Hail Mary and smoke a French cigarette. You know, that is very chic. But like we're not that. French. That side's Irish. It's very cheap. Though. It just it Where makes it no sense. From? Mangas. Thank you, Mangas, for the super chat. Greeks invented sitting. Before that, people were either standing or laying down. Wow, very interesting. I Fun believe that's that. true. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. What the hell is he talking about? Is Thank this a God joke? for them. I found out I'm 2% Greek with my 23 and me. It's there you go. Oh, Delta that's Chris. Good. This panel's age group coming up with a 50-year-old TV poll. That <laughs> earned a $10 spot. <laughs> Which 50-year-old TV poll? I fully understand TV. this. Family guy. Know. What does he mean? Who what's eating Gilbert Grape? I don't think we mentioned any oh. really old TV shows, have we? What's eating Gilbert Grape around? is that Johnny Depp movie with uh Juliet Lewis and the, his mom is extremely, extremely morbidly obese. Is it Leo DiCaprio? Said, and oh, Leo yeah, DiCaprio is yeah, yeah. the, the, Did they ever um, find out what was eating Gilbert Grape? Was it a tapeworm? <laughs> no, it, it was it, it was his mom wish he had a tapeworm. Uh, oh. Yes, right. Uh, it was a uh, what's eating Gilbert Grape is just his life in general and having to deal with his uh, uh, retarded brother and well, actually was Amber Leonardo Heard Caprio and and everything. Yeah, yeah, it was Amber Heard definitely. It's a great <laughs> film, but they did have to take her out with a crane at the end, and they didn't Oof. want to be embarrassed, so they burned the house down. That's so incredible. Lila in summation. If you get a Great Dane. And it dies in your home. You should just burn your house. <laughs> oh my god! No, burn it right. down. Yeah. Ooh, that's awesome. like, like that's so much body. It's a yeah. big. It's a big uh, thing. Austin Brown, thanks for the super chat. Disciples chose to follow and live the teachings of Jesus, including Mary. Apostles were the 12 disciples chosen and trusted by Jesus to spread His word, plant His churches, and wrote the New Testament. Yeah, how and participate in a gangbang. Who wrote the old questionable? Which <laughs> people wrote it? I believe. a bunch of different people. Yeah, and the boy run media wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> the Rockefellers wrote it. I'm sure. Yes, a hundred percent. Thank you, Austin. Oh, I love a little factoid. Wow, thank you, LDJ, for the five Chrissy Mayer memberships. Oh, and five more. Thank you, LDJ, for the ten Chrissy Mayer memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. Wait a second. We missed one of your jokes, Lila. That that will not stand here. <gasps> oh, no. I just said that the 12 disciples participated in a gangbang. And they oh. left that out of the Bible. And you know okay. what? If if that had been in there, we would have we would all understand. There's <laughs> gangbangs in the Bible that was not on Family Guy. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but actually, okay, I have to tell you guys. Um, during the pandemic, I went through a, a Bible reading phase, and the Bible, I I gotta tell you, there is some freaky deaky shit in there. There is a story about uh, these two sisters who got their father drunk in a cave and then took turns going in there to get impregnated by him. Yeah. No. Yes, it is in that the Bible. Like it. it is in the Bible. Are you Old sure Testament. it's not Stephen King? No. Nope. No, this is, I'm Old dead Testament. ass. It is in the freaking yes. Bible. 
there is some freaky deaky shit in there. So just <laughs> let you know, we they, all people are like, oh, how can people do all this freaky deaky stuff? It's like it's it, they've been doing it forever. Yeah. Okay, we just oh, now we can film it and we can put it on OnlyFans. But they've been doing this freaky deaky shit since. How the good looking is the dad? Do they old. describe the dad? They were afraid was the world old. was ending. Uh, they just with some freaks. Well, no, yeah. those well, they they don't let's just go my only fans, apparently. So, Lydia, I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Those people weren't perfect either, and there's some wild stories back there. It's kind of gross. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, but they, I, they'll write the book on it and tell mm, the rest yeah. of us how to live. That's they had what the old OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> the old OnlyFans <laughs> testament. And then yes. another story that I really love too, it was about this guy who was from a like really rich family and then he got like taken and then he got put in like a cave and then he had to live his life as like a slave. And then um his his do you know what, what I'm talking about, Lydia? And then his brothers had to come see him. <laughs> at, like, so temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Joseph. Yes. Yeah, and then so they didn't. Oh, oh, my gosh. Because his brothers, his brothers were fucking evil. They were jealous of him because yeah. he was, like, probably the best looking one. So they shoved That's him in a cave. Joseph in the like Technicolor dream coat. Yes. yes. Literally. Yes. yes. The story he, is. He, yeah. he had the best um, rainbow coat. Maybe right. right. And then, oh, wait. And then yeah. he was having the dreams about the sheep and the yep. ox. Yes. The yes. I know this one. There was a cartoon about it. Okay. It's Joseph in the <laughs> as well. Joseph in the Technicolor dream. Oh, I love it. I was looking at my phone and I just heard Lila describing Joseph in the Technicolor dream. Code. But okay, like, the best part thing. of this story is he like. Anyways, his brothers were complete jackasses, and um, he he becomes a slave. He has to go through all this horrible stuff. Like he goes to Egypt, thing. right? Yes, but a lot and then of times to Pharaoh's that. like main on show. Oh well, well he um he and he's accused of touching the Pharaoh's lady. I don't know. Okay. She, she me tooed him. She yeah. made it up. Oh, yes. So she yeah. was trying to get freaky with him, but he was like, no, I can't. But then she right. accused him. And then him he gets of... put in jail. He gets yeah. put in jail. And But then he, like, becomes a dream to for her, and then everybody loves him again and becomes, like, really, really rich. And then his brothers come see him, and they don't even recognize him because he is now the king. They're like, they thought he was freaking dead. They left him for dead. But and they're all most... sucking up to him then. Yes, because yeah. they think he's the freaking king. And he's still, he's so nice to them. And he like cries because he's like seeing his family again. And then he reveals to them that it is me. And the beauty of the story, I cried when I read it. The beauty of the story was that he forgave these people who did him so dirty and so fucking wrong because he was at the top of the mountain. People think like, oh, when I get to the top of the mountain, I'm going to be like, I'm going to treat these people like shit and show them how they hurt me. But it's like, no, actually true success is you get up there and then you're like, I'm not going to be like these people. And actually, I'm going to have forgiveness in my heart and I'm going to yes. show you how it's done. And you it ignore the trolls. exactly what the Bible is for. Quite literally that. <laughs> the interpretation yep. of just be a good person. That, you know, right. It, it was a beautiful story, you guys. I literally read. I was like, this is fucking. Your door. I was crying. I was like, this is fucking wild. His family just, they were horrible to him. And the they drama. thought they left it. Wow. It was so dramatic. And when, when he revealed that I'm the fucking king now, and you guys are all sucking up to me, I'm your brother who you fucking left into in a cave thinking I was going to get eaten by a goddamn lion because you were jealous of me and the fact that our father loved me the most. Right. Yeah. Jesus yeah. forgives. Yeah. And, yes, uh, indeed. So did wow. That's a... I just feel warm and fuzzy. Lila, you need to do like a... You do Bible a podcast. Readback. You need to yes. do Bible class. What yes. a wild, what a great like life though. Like, okay, here's the thing. You can have a, a normal like path where things go great or you could be thrown in a cave, nearly die, have to go to jail for a little bit and then you become the king. It's like, oh, that is so exciting. You know, yeah, I in the downs. Jesus, three days after he was dead on a cross, they moved a rock over and he was a lot, or he moved And then he started over. singing, <laughs> oh, I just can't wait, wait to be to king. king. Like that. I think yeah. that's great. <laughs> Musical. Uh, okay. Yeah, I definitely My recommend goodness. read the Bible if you want to read about some freaky deaky oh. shit because they it'll make you feel like okay, I don't have no weird. I don't, you know, maybe my stuff ain't as weird as what the, they were, these be, tweets were doing. It could be worse. And, and, and yep. it's also very inspiring, you know? It, it teaches you to forgive. People can be really hurtful to you and do the most fucked up shit. Your own family. But you can forgive. And that is the turn key. It, turn the other cheek until you Even run out of gold digging whores. 
Yes. <laughs> right. From L- Lydia has to bounce. Thank you for oh, Lydia, joining us this great. evening, Lydia. I love you, Lydia. I'm you're so glad people like you guys. You're the you're best. Awesome, Lydia. Thanks for Thank coming. You. I love so the nice long hair. Yeah, I love so motherhood on you. Ashton. Thank you. Thank you, Chrissy. I hope you go into labor smoothly and easily at the right um, time. The dates aren't going to do it. Don't worry about eating too many. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> I eat them every day. I don't you know what to dates? do with them. They put peanut yeah, butter on dates. them. Some people swear yeah. by it. Some people put them in bread and stuff. I Wait, what do the uh, dates do? They're the, supposed the, to the do flavor. Make it so that the baby can be like, Wah! like just come right yeah. out. It like comes out on the date. <laughs> like it prevents you from tearing down there, they say. So oh, put so yeah. the opposite of alien. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's an opposite okay. alien. They don't know it for sure it helps. They just suggest it as like kind of, oh, this might help, might make it a little bit easier and Maybe it does for some people. Didn't do anything for me, but hopefully it yeah. works for you. All right, you okay. guys. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your chat. I'll see y'all later. Bye, Bye Lydia. Lydia. Oh, Lydia. It's our patch lids. I love. All right, her. love you. Bye. And she's not even gone yet. I said. I Bye, said. Lydia. I love Lydia. Love she's her. great. I love the name Lydia. I think it's such it a makes you think of Beetlejuice. Name. Yes. Yeah. I love, I love the name Lydia. The mm. troll. Thank you for the super chat. Mm-hmm. Don't forget the 13th apostle, apostle Rufus, who was let out of the Bible because he was black. What? Oh, no. Poor oh. Rufus. Is that what? really a thing? I don't know. I'm it looking could at be. this. His name wouldn't have been Rufus, I don't It would have been Xavier. They picked him out of the gang gang. Yeah. yeah. Jesus would have looked know. like, you know, Saddam Hussein, I think, uh, it, with the area really? and everything. This is yeah, it would have. They would have all been darker if, if it were true. Thank you, It's yeah. Lot's and his daughters that Lila's talking about. Oh, Wait, okay. This is a real thing, you guys. Rufus of Thebes is a numbered <laughs> among the 70 disciples in Ether, Eastern Orthodox tradition. He was Bishop of Thebes in Greece. This is a real thing. Justice for Rufus. No. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So Rufus was canceled. Yes. Rufus, they didn't like him because he had the biggest dong, and they're like, "You can't be part of this gangbang. You take it over." Exactly. Yeah. He was, you know, fucking Mary Magdalene. He's like, "Grab put the D in disciples." And like, we don't <laughs> care, Rufus. Get out. I put the D in disciples. <laughs> Uh, Honestly, though, that when I when I had oh my prediction, that is what I would like to. I, I think that's what I would watch. The twelve. I'm the dumbest human being ever. Apparently, it's from the movie Dogma, oh, oh, which I've seen a million times. Because buddy, oh, that wasn't Jesus. even well, real. Thank you for well, no. Apparently, he there was a disciple named Rufus, but he was not black, so the fun was taken out of it. What was he? Oh, was he Dominican? I, I guess he was just. Easter, I mean, East, Eastern Orthodox, it's probably Russian or something. A oh, okay. Thebes of Greek. All right. Well, you know what? Alanis Morissette is God. So, for sure. <laughs> oh, K Max. What's up, K Max? Thanks for the super chat. Chrissy, what, uh, what was this black people in Advil thing? Is the media now calling Advil racist? Does this sound like a comedy bit to you? Yes, this was trending this week. Um, uh, th- let me show this picture. It's really funny. They're trying to bring equity to the pain relief industry, as they do all industries. Uh, this made me laugh so hard. I have to share it with y'all. I guess this was like a, a corner display at a Target or something like that. Oh, you! Sh- I saw this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it says this is a Advil display. So three and four. A recent Advil study found three in four black people suffering from pain believe there is bias in how pain is treated. Why are they using that for advertisement? Pain equity occurs when everyone can reach their full health potential. What the fuck? Yeah. That's everyone's health is their own damn problem slash I mean, responsibility. Advil doesn't believe in that because they're still charging black people to buy Advil. Well, right. black that's people don't like problem. Advil. They like crack. <laughs> yeah. Right. We commit to inspire change by elevating stories and providing education. What does that even mean? Together we will address pain bias at the source. So are you saying pain is racist? Like pain 
Like Pain uh, is choosing who to inflict. Right. Pain goes, Oh, you're white? You're good. Let me find a brown person. This what is, is God fake. Fake. What the fuck does this that has mean? to be not real? This has it's to be fake. It's real. No. This is Photoshop. I refuse to believe this is it's real. Real Ashton. Let me see. Ad, I'm gonna look it up right now. Advil pain hell? equity. This Let's is just another movie goodness. reference. Oh I'm my god, no, it is freaking real. <laughs> no, you're messing with me. I refuse to believe it's Girl, real. It's real. I'm pulling this it's up. Pain real. Advil Pain Equity Project. <laughs> it's a project which black people are familiar with. Um okay. No, Advil Pain Equity Project is a long-term commitment to champion equitable and accessible pain relief created by Advil and launched by a partnership in, in the Morehouse School of Medicine and Black Health. The Advil Pain Equity Project's first campaign, Are Believe they- My Pain, is focused on illuminating the issue of pain, inequity, in black communities. Oh. Are they claiming that like black people get more knee pain than the average per? I'm so confused. That's what they're claiming. What? Oh. what? So are we going to start talking about how 60 and 70 year olds are not treated equally by pain either? I'm I'm confused. In July of 2023, seven members of the black community share their experiences with pain equity. Wow, seven. Their stories are different, but they Seven's all a large number of common. No one believed their pain was real. They were the Yeah, because boys. they probably just wanted to get drugs. It was the boy who cried headache. <laughs> Join our mission for pain. Okay, you know what, though? If I claim I got a headache at work or something, my boss always tells me he doesn't believe me and to get back to work anyway. Like, Yeah, you know what? Maybe because you're like, oh, why are you an hour late for work? And you're like, I had a headache. Maybe that's why I don't, no one fucking believes you. All right? No one, it's because that's what women say to men when they don't want to have sex with them anymore. Right. I have a headache. I don't believe you. No. Oh, right. where's daddy? Oh, he's gone. He had a headache. Okay. He's incarcerated. Um, He's incarcerated. Join, join our mission for pain equity. Y'all are awful. Whether, whether you're a patient who is personally experiencing pain and equity, like if you are in pain and someone else isn't, that's pain and equity. A health care professional looking for ways to overcome bias. What the fuck? This is a lot of words, but not a not a load of anything. A pain equity. I, I'm resource. just confused. Is this like a weird marketing tactic? Is it yes? Like yes. Why? I would suggest to never take Advil. They put something in the Advil every time they try to market things to black people. That means something bad, isn't it? Well, they did that with the COVID shot too, didn't they? Like they were offering it specifically to like marginal marginalized groups, and like I think. That's when Hotep Jesus came out and said, I don't accept anything free from the government. Like, no, definitely not. Because America has a history of injecting marginalized communities uh, with things Vaccines. where they can no longer have children to euthanize, to um, not euthanize, I'm sorry, to basically make it so they can't have children. It was the tzatziki, the tzatziki experiment. Oh, no, yeah. it was Greek like, sauce. Uh, I'm sure they. St- I'm sure in some way our government still does that in our food or something. Tuskegee, not Tzatziki. Oh, Tuskegee! <laughs> it was the Tzatziki experiments. Tzatziki. Because I have Greek on the brain. Because I'm two percent Greek. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> I think he <laughs> on the brain. <laughs> I want to know, like, what the game plan with Advil is now. Like, why? That's the That's only one I want to take. Yeah, the I people. don't know. That's sketchy. Um, because it it increases their fucking uh fucking DEI score. There's yes, I, yes. I I, I low I honestly doubt there's a low percentage of like black people using Advil. So it's kind of like what Lila says. Like there's they use marijuana. There's a population control thing. And honestly, you know what? Smoking marijuana probably helps the pain more than Advil. Yeah, yeah that's safer than Advil. Advil. Yeah. They use crack and weed. No. <laughs> it's safer than Advil. It's probably <laughs> safer than Advil, knowing what's in all those prescriptions or what you don't know is in those prescriptions and those in those over-the-counter drugs. Oh, it's a prescription. It's not prescription. 
you, I, I have know. to. I, I won't even take. In the I won't even now. take a vitamin. Like not even a no. Flintstone vitamin. Oh. Uh, I'm you now taking the hair, vi- the hair you gummy have- vitamins because they're like candy that Chrissy sent me because I am balding. But um, you're not, you're not balding. balding. I'm balding. balding. It's terrible. But how like, much hair is coming out in the shower? Clumps. What's, what's that? <laughs> I was balding a little bit. Yeah, I'm not wow. joking. The clumps was coming out of my head. I and Have then I googled it. You know, you guys, I googled it, and then it said that I was going through ascension symptoms. Okay, and it was like ascending symptoms. Like I'm going into the next. Cool. Room. And You're ascending. Some, and then someone like wrote to in the heaven. Comments. Yeah, but someone wrote in the comments. They're like, "Please take this video down." My mom had cancer, and she she wouldn't get treated because she thought she was just ascending. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell <laughs> oh yeah i thought i was going through a spiritual journey but turns out i just had a really bad uti and i needed well, to get cancer doesn't thing. cause hair falling out that's what the chemo does i don't know some cancers do but i had a bad uti and i didn't get it fixed for a, like a couple of months because i thought i was going through a spiritual <laughs> shift and i didn't realize that it was a uti I was all, these videos. all you do is cranberry juice <laughs> Maybe yeah, I, wasn't doing that. In I thought it was having a spiritual evolution. I was really deep in YouTube. Your piss was burning, so you thought that you were going to a higher power. My piss wasn't even burning. My hair was just falling out. That's when the that's when the UTI has gone so far. It's past the burning of the piss. It is just it's like we're gonna attack out. you in another way, bitch. We're gonna take your hair away if you won't pay attention to that, this. The the, the fu- that, that was it. like a fucking. <laughs> Pokemon <gasps> evolution of a UTI. It's just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. It was like it a 2.0. So I've never heard of anybody in my life letting a UTI go on for so long. It either kills them or your hair <laughs> falls <laughs> out. Just take, just take some tablets with cranberry in them. It's this not is why hard. I have, this is why my hair is like kind of curly now because it's all different lengths. I mean, it it was it was so it was like chunks, you guys. It was so much. Well, have but you I tried really pumpkin believed. seed oil? No, it's fine UTI. now. I'm all, I'm all clear. I took these fucking big it's, ass it's, antibiotics. No, my hair comes right all down because I all I eat is Skittles. That, that's that, that's 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 and drink White Claw. That's the problem. It's I, I don't. It's not a UTI issue. But you're like, gonna get a UTI with that diet, to be honest. I like. I just eat an avocado the, every once in a while. Exactly. We love an avocado moment. Uh, no, mm. the UTI, I know it early. I know it often. I get those orange things, those pills that turn your pee neon orange for the pain, and then the cranberry pills. But uh, See, and then I have Advil a paralyzed I have vagina. To, but... It doesn't always tell me what's happening. Sometimes <laughs> I'll just be standing there, and I'll piss myself, and I'm just like, what? Is this? You're, you're like, no, I'm ascending. <laughs> like, as long as I have hair thing. I have a book, Bladder Matters, okay? I have a fucking <laughs> book. Yeah, how is that right there? Why is that right next to you? <laughs> because yeah, I, mean, I was it was, it was at the ready. Skin. It was at on had, the end. You guys, I went to a urologist, this urology doctor. <laughs> it was a butch lady. She put a, some cream on my stomach and did a whole, like, Thing to look at my bladder, and she was like, "Good news is your bladder empties out at a hundred percent." I'm like, "Yeah," because I piss myself a hundred percent of the time. But it's good that it empties out all the way. I don't your know. Bladder, your pee is descending, oh, but you were a. Your bladder does pictures, matter. As pictures, tell bladder you. lives matter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But they wanted me to take these pills and she was really pushing them on me because she said, she's like, I'll give them to you for free and you can just take them. But the side effect was also not being able to pee at all. So I was like, you know, I, I rather just empty out completely. And if I just happen to do that sometimes, that's okay. Yeah. I'm I'd just always just... wet. <laughs> <laughs> before i remember one time i was walking well yes okay i gotta tell you guys one time i was walking on the boardwalk in santa cruz i was wearing a skirt i will never forget this and all of a sudden i just started pissing myself and i i I was just it was just coming out of me like a fucking faucet and i was trying to catch it why 
catching it was gonna help catching me. it with your hands <laughs> yes i was trying to catch catching it with, with my hands hand. you're like oh nothing to see here it's fine. oh my god and then people were staring at me they were watching me run as i was like being and i don't run very well i like the <laughs> hobble it's like oh it was horrible i was 22 it was horrible but i'd rather piss myself than shit myself you guys are was it a UCI? so what made you pee yourself that time sometimes it just doesn't work it's just it'll just go off i won't even know i I think you have a deeper issue than just utis honestly i think you're going to get checked out no this is this is just my body i'm telling you this just what happens it's a a little quirk it's a little little i I do i piss myself so I, I have little I have little things that I do. See, Lila always shows us the glamorous side of spina bifida. She doesn't often reveal, you know, how the sausage is made. Yeah, I okay. just I just make sure that I'm close to a bathroom. There's an app that you can get on your phone that will let you know where the nearby restrooms are. So I need to re-download that. I used to have that for a little bit, but um, you know, and also it's anyways. I'm okay. Don't worry. Is the bathroom app know. called Poober? Poober. <laughs> oh. oh. You guys, I'm four. I can't handle pee and poop jokes. I, it's okay. It's, it's all right. Great. I just love that you brought the stream with your hands. I it's did. Me. And I remember, like, there was, like, this couple that was, like, behind me, and they saw me, and I was so mortified. It I was awful. Like, Fuck off. Let me see here. Just get out. Yeah, it just went to the bathroom. I just like splashed myself off, cleaned it off. It was fine. And I went yeah. about my day. I, I guess if you're going to pee yourself, a brain. skirt is better than pants because you're not going to, you know, you'd ruin your pants. <laughs> oh, my kid. Yeah. Oh, God. Now, now I, you know, I always carry an extra pair of underwear with me. Wherever you go. You know, I have Good. a bunch of different pads now. I'm, I've gone through stuff. So yes. you're like Batman, but with underwear. You just, yes. just I got underwear off. everywhere. I love that. I oh, love it. Life is about experiences. Wait, cat, cat break. Oh, it's Scarlet. She's not it's a, a man coon. Oh. Yeah, she is a man coon. Okay, yeah, you don't like being held as much, but everybody wanted to see you. Oh my goodness, Aww, she's cute. She just likes sweet pet, and she kind of just chooses. Oh, that that is for OnlyFans, Miss Ma'am. Oh, she has a nice tail. Mm-hmm. It's the Maine Coon in her. She's part Maine Coon, Bart Bombay. She's a rescue. I, actually, you met her before. I got her about a year and a half ago. You have a purse that looks just like her. Mm-hmm. You, you first met her when she was a tiny kitten. She's Aww. a lot bigger now. Oh, so yeah. Cute. Big stretch. Big stretch. Okay. The troll says Advil can be more equitable by selling their medicine in watermelon and grape soda flavor. That is untoward. That is racist. Yeah. Isn't that, that they tolerated. do kid medication? Is make them grape flavored? Oh, yeah. God, that like the grape family. flavor. Grape Simon Ho. Greeks needed new resting position from sodomy. Because <laughs> they invented sitting. Oh, Zeno, thank you for the orange boy. New Advil menthol flavor. That's good shit. Thank you, Zato. Yeah, <laughs> New king forgot what Joseph had done for Egypt and accused the Jews of disloyalty. God then ruined Egypt with plagues. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I didn't get that far into the Bible. I was like, I was, um, I was on day twenty-seven of my three hundred sixty-five. Re- it, it gave you like little chapters to read every day. It was awesome. I should do it again. I I want to do read the whole Bible. There's just like a lot of good things in there to, a good stories. That's like what it's supposed to be meant for. I think like let's all just be good people. These are, there, yeah. there's weird shit in there. Uh, yes, there's- there is. I my mom used to do adoration. I don't know. She did it for like seven years. Adoration is that like class. ascension? It's like ascension. Was, she was pissed her hair falling off out? every day in front of Jesus. No, um, it was it was uh, she in the Catholic Church. Somebody always has to be watching the the host, the piece of bread, 
Mm -hmm. So if it's a Catholic church, there's somebody always sitting with the bread because Catholic thinks Catholics think, all right, in the Catholic church, it is Jesus. So somebody always has to be with him. So there's like a little mm -hmm. corner in the root in the, in, or there's a little room in the church where somebody uh, an hour at a time, 24 hours a day. So my mom did that. And I, <laughs> she did bread watch. She did <laughs> bread watch. Yes. She was watching her carbs. Um, um, uh, not to lose weight. Uh, uh, <laughs> Good watcher. I like that. Yeah. So she would go in one time me and my friend and my brother went for her. It was at 11 PM at night and we opened the Bible and <laughs> cause of course we made a joke of it. Sorry, Jesus. Don't make me, don't strike me down. Um, we opened the Bible and there was something about literally the first page I opened to it's like something about okay, some, balls being crushed or something you would have to look it up but we were laughing hysterically we're like we're sorry jesus we're sorry it was something about scrotums was it like jesus's balls crushing the balls of christ for a second the sack of the lord yes yes you can't spell you can't spell sacrament without sack this all makes exactly Leave it to me to like open the page of the Bible I've never opened in my life to just even just tune into that. It was uh, so there's all sorts of weird shit in there. I think the basis, the central thesis of it is like, you know, this is how you be a good person. Da, 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 da. Yes. Sacrament, right? <laughs> Sacrament. I love this. Keanu, you're a good Catholic. See, I did that for my mom. <laughs> Kay Max, Aww. maybe if Advil's going woke, Skittles can be next. We need taste equity since white people enjoy Skittles more than black people. Ask Keanu. Is that true? I'm not aware. I mean, you know what? I'm not in any Skittles like, actually, uh, clubs, but. There was a campaign that Skittles had all white Skittles during Pride. And yeah. Walmart messed up because it said white Pride Skittles on the label. And they ended up having to change all of their labels throughout every like Walmart store. I think you can still find it, but there are labeled white pride Skittles when you would check them out of the Ooh. register. White pride. Yes, I remember seeing those. Because they were trying to say like, oh, well, you know, every color of the rainbow matters this time of year. So we're going to make all the Skittles white. And it was kind of just like, okay, great. You just didn't want to use any of the red dye for it. And to save money, but then all the WalMarts they accidentally labeled them white pride Skittles at every <laughs> checkout. That's fine. I want yeah, like this is not what we intended. Let's see if they um, have any on Amazon. White pride white Skittles. Pride Skittles. This is what I want to eat when I'm giving birth. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's like, like bleached Skittles. Yeah, they're this. just Skittles devoid of color. Ooh, the Christ. I can't find the Christ. Oh wait, did I find it? Say white pride. Unfortunately, damn. You know I think I on like the actual like, you know where it has like the actual price. It said white pride Skittles like, on the price thing. That's very odd. All right, I won't stop till I find them. Oh wait, hold up. I could be. It could have been photoshopped. Let me see. It's a shocker. Also, I don't know why Skittles is the sponsor more gay event. This is what I'm talking about. I'm sitting it's totally stupid. You're not going to eat something like part of the experience of eating candy is like the color and like. Yeah, you, know you don't mean? want something white. Is Skittles like for... gives you cancer, they said, though. What does? From the dye. Really? Red dye 40 is horrible for you. And But uh -oh. white is the color of tumors. So really. You don't want uh, I don't sent you a picture of what I'm talking about in the chat. Send us, send Ooh, us okay. The uh, uh, okay. Yes. This is so it was authentic. The photo was real. It wasn't tempered with. <clears throat> All right, we're, we're gonna share this. Burn. White, white pride. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's the UK too. I do. That's Europe. great. <laughs> That yeah. is so dumb. Somebody fucked up. Not my Skittles. So oh my god, who wants to eat a white Skittle? Ew. But, but, but I would in a gym. But it was the result of an oversight by whoever created the shelf labels in that particular supermarket 
rather than a corporate policy. So, ugh. well, they probably. Uh -oh, I mean, you mean Europe, they don't think of things like that. They just it, think oh. it was hilarious. Um, hilarious. I wish y'all could see this. My cat is grooming my dog right now. And it's freaking adorable. Oh, what is, she, is she dressed in drag? Not a priest. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys can see drag. Them. Oh, oh. Uh, yes, oh, very short skirt. Look at it. <laughs> It's Chris. licking its head. Oh and my no. god. Oh, that looks like they're freaking <laughs> out. They're cuddling. At one point, ladies, you made St. Patty Day after listening to uh, you. I now know why the Bible is the most shoplifted book of all time. Is that true? <laughs> is it really? That's fascinating. That's kind of nice. Oh, it is true. Uh, they get stolen from hotels like all the time. Well, the, people need yeah. need the Bible. Yeah, well, you, uh, stealing is literally one of the don't steal. It's the Ten Commandments. So maybe they didn't read the Bible, so they didn't know that. But. Well, with self checkout, I think you're supposed to steal actually because <laughs> <laughs> you are. And you know what? Everybody does a little bit of stealing from self checkout, and it's because you're working at that point, and you need to pay yourself. You work for, here. The yeah. job that you're doing. And, I will uh, always just never you click the button. How many bags did you use? I and I, I just say zero and I take a bag. Be right back. And I just take a yeah. whole bunch of bags, actually. So I remember when self-checkout first came out, like back in 2008 or nine, and my girlfriends would go to Walmart and literally like steal entire shopping carts, just like scan one thing. It was before they were you know, before they had like all these, the, yeah, before a big guy. And, okay, I, I went to Bartel Drugs. I got banned from Bartel Drugs for a year <laughs> because I got caught by a secret fucking shopper for stealing nail polish. And then I remember they took me to the back and they called my parents and my Filipino mom was on the phone and she was like, Anna, why would you steal nail polish? We have so much nail polish here. Why do you need more nail polish? And, um, yeah, I didn't really need, I had like 26 like nail polishes. And I remember I would take like little eyeshadows. And also at this time I was living. A There's double something life. exciting about stealing like that well, when you're younger. Yeah. Keanu, I was also a judge and a defense lawyer for teen court at this time while I was shoplifting on the side. So how do you get court, that gig? <laughs> so Teen Court is Teen Court is a uh, it was just like a sign up thing, like community service thing that I did because it was fine. Did you give the girls like like advice on how to steal better and not end up in court after? Like, well, you they, can, do, honey? they can either um, go through like regular court. If it was their first time offense, they could go through regular court or choose Teen Court and see. I wasn't totally evil. I was like, I'm going to be a defense attorney, not be a prosecuting attorney. I would I would always defend them. I remember one girl in particular. She stole a uh, a hair straightener, and she tried to tell me they can be expensive. Was, she tried yeah. to tell me this was the first time she ever stole anything. I was like, "Listen here, I know this ain't the first time you ever stole because this is a this is a very like big thing to steal for the first time. Like you could be real with me. You never stolen like a chopstick before this, really? Just a hair straightener? Is it stealing if it's chopsticks? I suppose. Yeah, I'm stealing chopsticks. Yeah, is that what you said? No, a hair stick. Chapstick. A what? Okay. Chapstick. Like chapstick for your lips. Chapstick. I thought you said chopsticks. <laughs> I just like chopsticks to get sushi. Like, no. I'm like, <laughs> don't they come free with the sushi? <laughs> no, she stole. I was like, you never stole chopsticks. Chapstick. Okay, got so, it. But the first time I ever stole anything it was from Fred Myers. It was an eyeliner. I think I must have been like 11. I was with my parents. I got into the car with my parents. We were driving away from the store and I pulled out this eyeliner. And I was like, I took this from the store. And I was like so proud of myself. And I told my parents and my dad turned the car around, took the eyeliner from me and put it back in the store. He was so angry with me. I was so pissed. Yeah. But it was oh, nice, I guess, that he did that. Me and my BFF, uh, my best gal friend, we would... I don't know what it was. It was maybe like a maybe like a three month period. We would go to like Target or Kohl's and then take the backs off of earrings and then 
just put them in our purses and walk out with them. It was very like the movie 13 or something. We had yeah. the money, but we, just something about the thrill. I it, did it, that maybe three times. She, I think they think they called the. It's, it's like stealing a thing that happens in every teenage girl's life, except for me. Cause I feel like a giant nerd right now. No, no I, I, I don't like it. I feel too bad. I feel bad that I even steal the bags from CVS. I don't even put them in the subject. I say zero bags when I self-check out. And believe me, I'm a purveyor of self-checkout. The less human interaction, the better. Love it. But I'm like, how many, do I have to tell them? Do I have to tell the computer that I used one yeah, fuck that. Bag, they shouldn't be, really? they shouldn't be yeah. charging us for the goddamn bags. Me and my me and my girlfriend who I used to deal with, we would have shoplifting days where it was like, and this, God, we were so bold. We would go to different stores, hit them up, bring the stuff to the car, and then go back out again. And so uh, bring breakers with you and your friends. Yes, that's Great. exactly what we did. But my breaking point with this particular friend is I remember one time we walked into a mom and pop shop. It was like this lady, we were just walking around and it was a lady like selling stuff out of her garage. And she had like necklaces in there and my friend stole one and I was so angry with her. I'm like, you have to bring it back. I'm like, this is not like fucking yeah, Walmart or no, the mall. Like this good. lady made yeah. that necklace and we got into such a huge fight. She was like, Lila, we steal all the time and you're really mad at me for stealing this necklace. I was like, yeah, you stole from that old lady. You got to bring it back. And yes, we, you're we the Robin Hood of, of teenage theft. You steal are from the rich, give to the poor. You don't steal from the poor who's making glass bracelets in their garage. How dare you? Right. See, no, I, yes. I had a roommate and I didn't realize how common stealing was in your teenage years was. And I had a roommate not you too don't long have ago. money. What? Because you don't have money or a job yet. Me? No. Most teenagers. Oh, oh teenagers. Well, yeah. I had a roommate before I decided to live on my own. And he was a mess, but he basically told me how like he started stealing when he was like 13, 14 years old. And he was like in his early twenties and uh, he's long gone out of my life now, but he would steal things from UGG. Like he would steal things from like, like the really high end stores. So he would go in and he would basically like stole the idea. Like in that, there's like this movie clip that goes around with, uh, what's her name? Anne Hathaway. Or no, sorry, Sandra Bullock. He would go in, get a bag, like a store bag, and then put items in the bag, and then walk out of it. Just like walk out of it, like no, like, no big deal. Yeah, and he would steal like four hundred bag of the worth. store. Like no, he would he would go behind the counter, steal one of their bags, and then put a bunch of merchandise in it. And then walk out with someone who didn't have a bag. The alarm would go off. They would stop the person without a bag instead of him because he had a bag. They assumed that he bought something. And he'd walk out with like $400, $500 worth of merchandise. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. And I told him, you really need to stop this. Like, you're going to get caught. You're going to get in a lot of trouble. And sure enough, he ended up stealing from me. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> But he's yeah, he's long gone. So what did he he's steal dead? from you, Ashton? He so basically what happened was he refused to get on the lease, and we can never figure out why he wouldn't get on the lease. I mean, the kid was like 21 years old, and we're is like, he, black? No, he was 21. No, he was white. Um, <laughs> okay, he was from Irish a, from an upper from an upper class family, mind you. And um, he wouldn't get on the lease. We we're like trying to figure out why. And we found out later that he got evicted when he was 18 years old. And that stays on your record for seven years. And like no one will let you like Sign be on a lease oh, if you shoot. had eviction yeah. in your record. And basically what happened was he was short on rent. And so I was like, hey, you know, I can spot you, but you have to pay me back. You keep saying the rent is too and damn high. I was so dumb. I was so trusting. And it got to the point where he just refused to pay rent. And the thing is, if we didn't pay the full rent, it wasn't like, oh, per person pays rent and the landlord knows who's who. It was like, if we didn't pay the full rent, we all got evicted and that goes on our record. And I was not about to deal with that. He was and squatting. He he was squatting and basically we couldn't kick him out and we couldn't find a new roommate because he refused to leave. And we tried getting the police involved and getting a record on him, but they basically said, Hey, because he's not on the lease, um, <gasps> this is going to take a few months to what? get him out. And, and she had pepper sprayed him. Pepper sprayed his ass. That's how <laughs> you get squatters out. I'm like, I'm I'm like, wait a minute. 
hold on, he's technically trespassing, but he's not paying <laughs> rent and not on the lease. to go, well, he has mail coming here, so therefore he's officially living here, but we can't oh, do God. much about it. And we're like, well, we can't wait a few months because our lease is up in a few months anyway. So I'm basically like, I was out over like $3,000 because he refused to pay his rent. You should have pepper sprayed his ass. I'm telling you when people are like, oh, I can't get the squatter out of my house. You know what I, what I would do when I would I'd see the squatter? I would pepper spray the fuck out of them. They would run out and then I would lock the doors. And when the police came, I'd be like, they were threatening me. I was self-defense. I, I got triggered. I had to pepper spray them. I would pepper spray the whole fucking house. That's how you get a squatter out. So anybody that's watching, crazy. This, no, that's this was like a this was like a year ago. I ended up changing apartments anyway because that old apartment was awful because we had like end up getting mold in that apartment in his room, of course, mind you. When he finally left, we got rid of him. Uh -huh. There was mold in his apartment, and maintenance wouldn't do anything about it. So we just what kind of mold? <sighs> Black mold. Well, I was gonna. I mold. have no idea, but it was mold, and maintenance wouldn't fix it. And like, maintenance <laughs> would respond to fixing anything. So we're like, we're out of here. Like, we're we're paying oh, way too much God. for this place anyway. So, of course, they didn't fix it. It was black. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's insane. I got kicked out for the most bullshit reason out of my like second, no, first apartment. I just had adult relations with someone on our kitchen table. And I didn't think any of the roommates were home, but the fucking lesbian roommate was home. And I think she just, I don't know. I think this was just like a gay versus straight thing. Cause I don't think she's, she liked well, hearing can't my relationship. Her on a kitchen table. So she might've been jealous. It was yeah. an Italian she man. Was. And it was an, Oh, it was uh, the Ikea table. Guess what? The Ikea table stayed together. So I think we should, you know, be proud of that fact at least but they're like oh we don't feel safe with you living here you're bringing home dudes and i was like <sighs> they kicked you it out wasn't a you dude, live my life dog. life is about experiences you right, that's what i tried to say uh <laughs> she actually worked for glad or no glisten <laughs> she worked for glisten. <laughs> the trash I'm bag glad <laughs> like, what about the tupperware <laughs> i was the trash bag no i i was, I was so annoyed because i never missed rent <laughs> once i'm like i'm getting kicked out for this i was like i didn't think anyone was home for christ's sake wait the the roommates kicked you out yes they ganged up on me they voted me off the island they said oh my god yeah. okay you're can right. they legally do that if you're on if your name is on a lease she was probably just like, I'll show myself out. Fine. Yeah, I was like, I'm not dealing with this. Okay. I had a, a lesbian roommate, spoken. and Fine. she liked to keep the entire apartment down to, like, I think 67 degrees every single night. And I'm pretty sure, like, it made my cat sick at one point. And the energy bill got to the point where it was over $200 a month. And I had to explain to her, I'm like, you are ranking up our electric bill and leaving doors open. And like you're ranking it up to two hundred dollars a night. Plus, she had her own personal air conditioner in her room. On top of that, okay, was she a I'm larger like woman? Well. Because that seems she, like a like a she fat was plus problem. size, but not that large. Like she wasn't okay. that much larger. I had a roommate, yeah. yeah. Who, um, I'll never forget this. This one was kind of weird. So she brought home this guy, <laughs> and he had like a big like suitcase like bag with him. And it was a three-story townhouse. And then I met him for, like, a second. He had a big, like, mustache. And Barry was, like, a big dude. And he had this, like, kit thing with him, like, a whole suitcase thing. And they went up to the room. <laughs> and she was up there for, like, two hours. And then they came back down. And she said goodbye to him. And apparently he had tied her up, whipped her a bunch, like, lit candles, oh, put them all over her body. He brought his S&M equipment to the yes. house. Yeah, and I was like, like, how did you meet this guy? She had just matched with him on Tinder, like, that day. And here, here are this fucking SMM masters over at my house. I'm like, he could have... It was it was a, a lot. But she seemed to enjoy herself. She had a good time. Um, she oh, said no. she loved it. Uh, oh, of course she, he did. Would have a little sex on the table. Yes! It was very <laughs> vanilla. Yes. No, this was not vanilla. This a little was sex scary. on the dining room table. No big deal. Not this a big not deal. A Life is about experiences. Yeah. I Nobody tied you table. up or poured fucking candle wax on your ass. I had That's what was happening to my roommate. 
candle I wax know. was getting poured on her ass. I and know. we also lived on a street with a bunch of prostitutes. It's very uh, famous in Van Nuys. And so I didn't have a parking spot. So I had to park on the fucking street. And the amount of times cars would pull up to me to like try to get me to come inside the car with them because there was like street walkers that would walk around in this area. It was very scary. Oh, oh good God. One time I cried at a drive through and the guy felt bad for me and gave me my burger for free. So that was kind of cool. That's One good. One time I went to a Hardee's drive through because I would normally go at uh, 4 a.m. And one time I went at 6 p.m. And they said to me when I got up there, they went, oh, you're here early. <laughs> that, that made me cry at a drive through That was fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I remember after my mom died, I was crying on a plane. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got like a, I got like a ton of free drinks Ooh. Like, for a plane. I think. Well, I consider two free drinks to be like a ton. That's a good amount. They yeah, gave us free, free drinks after they made us remove our pants at the airport. That's wow. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You had to remove your pants? Oh, wait. Oh I remember my God, this now. Yes, of course. Ashley's I remember this lady. now. This was our big viral moment of the spring. Yes. Spring viral. One every season. Wow. <laughs> well, I was saying, yeah. I see you. Uh, I'll tell you one, one weird roommate story and this is a doozy. It'll be short though. Uh, I had no. one roommate I really didn't like. Her name was Corinne because of course it was right. And I didn't like her at all. She was a nerd and she was sort of a, and she didn't like that. I stayed up late and my friend Elliot, my gay best friend, uh, because I didn't like her, he didn't like her. So he came to stay with me and he was drinking at the time. And um, she, he was being noisy and raucous in the middle of the night after we had came out. <laughs> we were in college uh, after we had come out of the, uh, come back from uh, going out the uh, entire evening. And she came um, out and she said, my mom's coming into town tomorrow. And he said, you know what? My boyfriend's coming into town tomorrow. I'm going to fuck him in front of your mom. <gasps> and it goes on past this. I did nothing. So then she leaves for work. He takes his leftover, and I did not know this at the time. He takes his leftover egg sandwich that we had bought drunkenly, puts it underneath her mattress. I had no idea. I had nothing to do with it. His <laughs> boyfriend comes to town three months later and says, did you ever get that uh, egg sandwich from out from under that girl's bed? And I went, what? <laughs> and then he looked at me like, he put an egg sandwich underneath her mattress. I'm like, no wonder it fucking stinks in here, Elliot. But she was so filthy and awful, she didn't even notice because of the whole egg sandwich. It didn't even cover up the horror of her like smelly fucking room. But the but the the thought to not tell me that he did it was diabolical uh, because yes. I would have immediately <clears throat> lifted up the mattress and gotten it out. But it was, I mean, it was sinister and diabolical he's not drinking anymore in case it that is <laughs> scary. she was a bitch though so uh, that is terrifying yeah. <laughs> oh my god everyone's more in shock I'm, I'm so triggered from all i have so many roommates i can't believe i did it i cannot believe i lived with so many strangers ditto from, from the from the craigslist internet like it was just what you did. It was like I remember. No. I never lived with a stranger. I never liked having roommates. I've mostly lived alone. Yeah. I remember when I first got my first roommates. I thought we're gonna be just like friends, and we're all gonna ha. be best friends forever, yeah. and we're gonna yep. take cute Polaroids. And they ended up being the worst people ever. And I was like, I can't wait to live alone. I can't, uh, I can't wait. wait. My first. Just can't wait to be king. I met my first roommate. We both worked together at NYU. I was just moving out of my parents' house, and she had just got out of a 10-year relationship, moved back in with her parents on Long Island. So this was her, like, you know, Stella's got her groove back moment. Like, and she was obsessed with yeah. William Bray. <laughs> I was like, I'll just go anywhere as long as it's not my parents' house. And uh, <clears throat> she was obsessed with Williamsburg. And this was back when Williamsburg was, like, 
still cool, which is a long time ago. And, and affordable. It was like, yeah. yeah, it was before. Like, yeah. It, it was like before the Dunkin' Donuts, before it was truly, uh, I guess, commercialized, you know, and like so all the sharp edges were smoothed over. <laughs> and we, we like that's we moved in with the lesbian that worked for Glisten. And um, what's Glisten? It's like a gay lesbian trans uh like a i don't know it's like an activist it's like oh, a like, like women yeah. in tra in dylan mulvaney they don't, yeah they don't they don't sweat they glisten maybe. and she was just like oh you know all about going out to the restaurants and the scene and like taking pictures of everything and this and like all about her fucking instagram and i i was like i gotta she was upset that I didn't do all this with her every day. And I was like, I have to go to, to open mics and, you know, just like you live the dream. And she got upset that I wasn't like going out, out with have, her. She was upset that I wasn't even eating avocado what? toast with her every day in fucking Williamsburg. Like, did you and think I was going to be your best friend? Like, did. that's just me. Because we were very good work friends, uh, good enough to move out together. That's why you say they say you never live with your friends. It always ends in turmoil. You know, yeah. My my ex roommate, she did the same thing, but not to me. She did it. Funny enough, she did it to uh, the other one, the one who stole everything. She, I guess, they were already friends before. They kind of found me because they needed a third roommate to save money. Uh, but I mean, this person would straighten her hair for her. I mean, so he was gay, she was lesbian, but like, she could get him to like straighten her hair for him, to brush her hair for her, to like do all the chores. He was to, like grooming her. her. What? <laughs> it... He was quite, but the thing is, and on top of that, she had this crush on a straight girl. We're pretty sure she's straight. She dates men. Um, and she was like writing her love letters every day. I mean, like just full of obsessing with her. And it got to the point where like this girl quit her job. And basically sat around the house crying and watching Bluey because this straight girl decided to get a boyfriend. And wow. her parents basically were paying her rent. So, like, it wasn't like she had to pay bills or anything. But she just sat around the house watching Bluey and went in depression because this, this girl. Is that, Blue's, is that Blue's Clues or is that something else? It's like the modern day Blue's Clues. Like, it's on Disney+. Plus. Wow. Oh, just, wow. Yeah. yeah. She was sad because she couldn't get a straight girl. <laughs> I, I, but no, she was like, obsessed. That's why. So I'm sorry. She I was obsessed with this girl. I mean, like stalking behavior to a very high level. Uh, she went, She bought a doll for herself because it looked like the girl that she was in love with. Oh, uh, like like one of those like little Barbie dolls because it looked like the girl. <laughs> um, and she kept it like near her bedside. It was very strange. Oh, no. And she put it inside her vagina. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Just like that, she disappeared. <laughs> Ashton, come back. Ashton, wait, please. We want to know more. Regale us with more tales. <laughs> Charles, thank you for the tuba chat. And it was all yellow. The German word for roommate is meet about Baumer. Meet, meet, Bebwoner. Meet, Bebwoner. Pronounce it like meet, Bebwoner. German words are the best. Yes, they are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank God. We were worried sick. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked a bad button. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you get a chirp. Thank you, Charles. Mm. Thank you, That's Charles. That's Charles number one. We love him. I love German words. My nipple's popping out. I'm sorry. Uh, no lucky. one in the chat is sorry. <laughs> Mine is super not in a I will line. not get Chrissy banned today. I noticed that Lila and Keanu are not wearing green. Uh, we are boycotting. I can't. Uh, the the look of the Irish is not with you. <laughs> yes. I wore it yesterday when I got rip roaringly drunk with me friends uh, on the Upper East Side. <laughs> but uh, today I chose purple for Lent. I'm a little bit late. So. For Lent. <laughs> I don't know. I got green. Look, I got a green this thingy. It's dying. <laughs> My bridesmaid's dresses are pine. So that's green. That's I just say I wear green underwear when I forget. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, it, the best is when it starts out white and then it ends up green. <laughs> that's an <laughs> infection. 
All right, <laughs> we're learning. Yeah. Once Wait and for all. Do an Irish accent. Okay. How to do an Irish accent? Oh, you have always you wanted to know. Job. Hello, friends. I'm Hello. Madeline Harvey. And today Hi, I thought it would be wonderful to books. extend our vocal working boring I mean, it's a really strange herself. off place in an sure. Irish accent is the sound I. Oi. Now, in English, we say I. 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 But in an Irish accent, we say oi. 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 As in the word oi. Oi. Oil. Oi. 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 Oil. Oi. Just oil. jump in with oil. this jump Say in. oil. Oi. Oil. 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 Now, add oil. that sound oil. to the word Ireland. 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 Practice sentences. Fortune smiled upon him in Ireland. It's not quite the right shade of blue. It's not quite the right shade of blue. Oil, oil we have in some of that oil. Oil, oil, oil we have in some of that oil. So I just want you to get a sense of that work. bending movement oil. of the oil sound oil. as you work with the sounds. Oil. And the better you get at the things, the The next sound that we're going to be playing with is an Irish R. In an American English accent, you would say park, garden. Or where the R sound has special it? emphasis in the back of the mouth. Don't and the throat. teach me the lore. But in the Irish accent, it. is it, it's as if we smile, making the vowel very broad as it comes Ireland. forward to the Ireland. Of the mouth. So instead She's of telling you where park, to put it in your mouth, garden, the we would get perk. Perk. Garden. Oh, garden. Go ahead and try this one. Garden. garden. Perk. The garden. Oh, I'm saying perk. the R word. One more time. Garden. 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 Work. Start. Work. Start. Work. Start. Work. Hard. 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 So you feel heard that worker. broadness of the R as it moves from the back, coming around. Oh, Diana, you're such a hard worker. Next me in the air. A hard worker. <laughs> you're not doing it in the front of your mouth. To the front of the nose. Our next practice sound is the vowel shift from ow to ew. Ew. And I find ew. that this is personally the most difficult. As a stand. Standard American English speaker. How do you say the sometimes N there's an emphasis on this sound in particular. Right. For example, flower, right. sour, hour. Wow. There's a great deal of space in the mouth. But uh, remember, with an Irish there, accent, there it's very small. Space in your mouth and it's very I'm relaxed and melodic. <laughs> so the word flower, go if we were to make it smaller, <laughs> becomes flare. 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 My so let's try this together. Air. Practice words are. Your pussy is sour. Flower. Air. 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 Sour. Air. Sour. Hair. Hair. Found. Found. Out. One more time. Out. Flower. Flower. Air. 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 Flower is sour. Sour. Found. Oh, the illegals. Out. Hair. So our practice and this is What the fuck is she even saying? We found out. Lemons are sour. 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 You don't have to get a whack for another hour. Bear. Try to get a whack for another hour. I'd have to be at whack for another hour. Flowers grow in the garden. She has a... Flowers grow in the garden. Oh, I like your baker. Why is there a bear in the garden? So take your time with this one. Remember, it's all about keeping it small. Can you get very relaxed? And it's small in the mouth. Moving right along to yes, our next vowel please. shift as we go we from another air. Home, home to home. Oh, this is known home. as the Irish home. And again, with standard American English, there's lots of space that tends to be emphasized. Yeah, because it's our language fashion. is better. Home, blown, blown. stone. But Why everything in the Irish accent is very forward. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's not your mouth. small. 
So it becomes my punishment. Punishment. Yeah. Go, home. Storm. go home. Storm. Go hard to go home. 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 Storm. You're not a homosexual. No. Homosexual. Oh, no, homosexual. Right. Practice sentences. Oh, I know. I met him in the road. Oh, we, had, we watched some porn. Let's try this together. Oh, I know. I met him in the road. I met him in the road. I gave him road head. One more time. Oh, I know. I met him in the road. I met him in the road. Gave him road. I met him in the road. Well done. Feel that smallness of space moving front eight. into the forward road. Oh, road. And now for our final exercise in today's in video. We're going to take the sounds that we've been working so hard at hard. and we're going to give them a nice conversational approach by okay, focusing good. on that lovely, dreamy, up and down <laughs> lilt that the Irish accent is known for Irish. having. Whoa. I'm going to do each of the practice sentences only once. So I encourage you to listen, no. pause, practice, the and road. then when you're ready to resume, go ahead and press play. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Go. Don't take it so personal. Don't take it so personal. Oh, would you care to go out? So personal. Personal. What was she wearing? Maybe she was sure. arguing for it. And that'll be the end of it. And that'll be the end of it. It was a date. The way you're thinking. And I'm done telling you. Don't tell and me. And discussion. Oh. No means like you wrote you. the wrong. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Surely after you'll be known to it. Somewhere on the road anyway. She literally. No means it no. sounds. It sounds like she got an argument with her husband about something and decided to put it in. Like, why is she talking about going on some digging? Like, oh, it's not my fault you never do any far play for her. her. She's husband. like, for example, she's talking about her husband. What are you talking about? You've never taken out the trash. Or her roommate, maybe, turned to You ever thrown out your house by the roommate? <laughs> I met him in the road. I met him in the road. <laughs> I gave him some road head. We don't I drive cars in Ireland. Hard <laughs> this is a ridiculous accent, and it seems like it has to be a lot Wait of Wait till I tell you what know. I read in the paper. I never heard the like in my life. I never heard such a thing. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that helps Thanks, a little bit. lady. God. <laughs> oh, I never heard such a thing. She needs a good dick down, I think. I don't know. She seems very uptight. Oh, I met him in the road. Oh, I just had a dick down. She seems uptight. Uptight. In the road. Zito. Met him in the road. Thank you. Thank you for the yellow boy. <laughs> just watch Father Ted to learn Irish. Drink. Fit. Arse. 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 Hard worker. In the garden. Hard Jason, work. No. Watch Pardon made in Ra oh, Rolan. Someone pointed out kind of like Pearl if Pearl was actually nice. Pearl. Pearl of things. Pearl. Pearl of things. He just needs Pearl. to find the right man. The right man. Oh, that actually Literally really helps that, that video. It does. It, 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 find the right man. Find the right man. She just needs a good dicking down. She needs a good dick down <laughs> on the road. Yeah, on the road. She just needs, <laughs> she needs a man in the road. She needs to bed her on the road. She needs to spend more time in the front of her mouth. Time in the front of her mouth on the road. <laughs> or in the back of her mouth. In the lane. Oil. Ireland. Don't forget Ireland. the oil. <laughs> Ireland. 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 What Ireland. in the name of Pete are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it really was helpful. It was. I'm going to need a stick of Irish gold butter. Yes, carry gold. Carry gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's really funny. That's too funny. We did it. I remember being, for some oh, reason, I remember. Parents, I always remember, for some reason, my parents let me, the first time I ever went on a plane was when I was a junior in high school. My parents let me go to London for like the high school theater trip. I can't believe they let me went. They let me go. And uh, I remember like, we couldn't drink, obviously, because we're juniors in high school, but we were like standing outside this bar called yates and uh 
I just remember feeling so special because these guys were like, oh, I really like your American accent. I was like, ah, I don't have the accent you do. Like, I just, uh, oh, I I don't have one. It's just like the idea of somebody saying that you have the funny accent. I was like, what? You're crazy. (laughs) What do you mean? with me. Stop it. I don't. (laughs) We're America. I met him in the road. I met him in the road. I met him in the road. (laughs) That was very, that yeah. Was I very... don't have an accent. You do, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. I'm better. I'm from America, actually. The transatlantic accent people should yes. have for it's between America and England. It's the yes. transatlantic it accent. Sounds the same. Yes. Um, Ashton, I just realized your headphones light up. That's very cool. That yeah. is cool. That is cool. You look like you're on a spaceship. You look like you're taking McDonald's orders in the future. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I well, love it. Cute. I want light up headphones. Me too. I love these. I like a I DJ. Got these, I got these specifically because the fun lights on my actual computer stopped lighting up, and I was trying to figure out how to fix them, and I gave up. I was like, I'll just get light up headphones. No, those are they fucking cool. My mouse does the same thing too. Actually, I don't know if you guys can. Looks like you're gonna DJ. And then, like my laptop. Ooh, oh, it lights up. Look at your keyboard. It lights up. Mm-hmm. What does your sign say behind you? Uh, have you seen? I think it's from Batman Beyond. It says "Hell Here." It's when Catwoman goes to her "Hello There" sign, and she goes, and it says "Hello There." Hello there. <laughs> I I got these weird lights that go with your voice, so it's like it's like the headphones. It's like meh, meh, bing. That's Bing. amazing. Bing. No, they're stupid and oh, silly. Oh, so Batman Returns. Head. I'm sorry. Yeah. Could it be that they're just blinking intermittently and like you think they're going along with your voice? Well, watch. Silence. Ah! <laughs> See, they go. Hello. When you talk. See? Hi. I'm just, I'm just talking to my lights. <laughs> hey, they worked when I did it. No, it's nothing to see here, officer. I'm just talking to my lights. Ah! <laughs> Is talking to my life. Oh, Man. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little creepy sometimes. So I forget that there's a Chucky doll behind me, and I look back and I go, Oh, oh there is, there he is. Creepy. Yeah, my cat was trying to fight Michael Myers as well. Like, she has a weird vendetta against Michael Myers. I can't watch the Halloween movies around her, and she has attacked my mask behind me like several times because he's scary. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he's signed he's by William Halloween. Shatner, so I can't let her go near it. He's a hard worker, that Michael Myers. <laughs> Waffles has a vendetta against Ariana Grande. What? Really? Yes, because I played it, and then Waffles went insane. I played Ariana Grande music, and she was like, turn this off She now. can sense evil. You know what's she so crazy see- is, like, um, oh, God, she was behind me today. Like, she just couldn't see what was happening. Like, Frank went to feel my ba- my belly, and uh, but she couldn't see what was happening, so she started to growl at Frank. And I was like, oh, my God, are you, like... I think she's like trying to be protective, but she's small and like furry. She's not really going to do anything, but furry. I was like, oh, you're worried about me, aren't you? Oh, waffles. <laughs> your bark is bigger yeah. than your bite. Yes, your bark. <laughs> your bark is bigger than your bite. <laughs> bite. Your bark is bigger than your bite. Bark is bigger than your bite. <laughs> she's a hard worker. She's a hired worker. <laughs> she, I walk her down the road. And she oh, works hard to get up the We were walking hills. down the road and she barked at everyone. She barked at everyone. She barked. barked. It was like, raff, raff, raff. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, woof, yeah. woof, woof. <laughs> I really do need to expand my accent. Uh, do Rolodex. you? Don't yes, I do the same couple. I never do an Irish accent. That's a very difficult accent. I think that video helped. Yeah, I'm going to keep watching more until I fall asleep. <laughs> I feel like Scottish is even harder. It just sounds like gobble goo. Have you ever like... seen the movie Train Spotting? You don't know what the fuck those people are saying. Nothing. Like... Well, when I think of Scottish, <laughs> I think of like the movie Brave, and she's like, I turned me mum into a bear. 
And that's all I know in a Scottish accent because she's just screaming how she turned her mom into a bear. And that's I'm basically it. And then get in my belly, which is just Michael Myers being obnoxious. Get in my belly. <laughs> get in my oh, belly. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, get in right. my belly. <laughs> yeah, how to learn Scottish. Get in my belly. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I am going to whisper into Frank's ear. You're a hard worker. How about you meet me in the road? Meet me in Fire the road. Fire some. such a hair. That makes me think of like Trisha Paytas and how she's going into like these weird. She's making these like almost like D and D type role play TikToks, and like they're the funniest things in the world because she's just like, "Hello, traveler," and then she's just talking about fairies and werewolves and like she's hinting that like she is like a POV thing where you're like a traveler, I guess, in a D and D game, and she's supposed to be like um. I guess an NPC of some sorts, and she hints that a traveler got her pregnant or something, and like, and she has the worst fake British accent. It's so funny to me. That sounds. You, funny. Have you seen these videos? No, I haven't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look at Trisha, Trisha Paytas. Paytas. Look at Trisha Paytas Tavern POV. Tavern? No, 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 like she's doing a tavern POV. Like, like she's trying to do D and D or something. D and D. D and D. Where's Gino? Yeah. He's supposed to come on and talk about the baby pie. I tried to wake him up, uh, He's and I fell asleep. Oh, I will. He's on the road. The night I took just, him. I, I heard him stirring. He's oh, stirring. No yeah. Uh, sorry. Were you talking about me? Hang on one second. Let's see. <laughs> okay. I uh, I tried to when I was peeing. Uh, let's Why? see if we could get him. He might see be if we can rouse him. Road. Rouse, rouse him. you, betrothed, Keanu. Wake up, break. Can't you <laughs> wake him up? Lila. Yes. That was so fun. It was so fun to have you here. Oh my god, it was really cool. It was fun. How are your nails holding up? Mine are still what? holding up. See? Bing bing bing. You can't really see. Healthy. Looks good. I need lotion badly. Yeah. I haven't gotten my nails done. I, I don't do them anymore. But I um I actually ordered this stuff off Amazon. It was like a keratin clear. And I just repainted Ooh. them again. But it was Ooh. so good to get them done and like shape in the way that we did. I was thinking I was going to go all out like before birth. I was like, I'm going to get tips. I'm going to get them in baby blue. But then I was like, Ooh. oh, shit. No, that would be bad. If I'm trying to like. I think the tips would be bad for the baby. Like, I don't think I can ma mom with big ass nails. Ooh, right? look at me. I'm Keanu, everyone. Ooh, Ooh look at me. So Ooh, I'm a girl with a cigarette. Ooh. I, Keanu's I like know, doing. You know. I am not doing an accent. I couldn't do it if yeah, I want. Of course you can. Hi, Gino. Hi, Ireland. Lila. How do you Ireland. Oh, I'm here to plug the baby hey, pool. Oil in. It's the pool. <laughs> it's the baby pool. I'm not doing voices. I'm oil. not doing voices. I don't oil. know how to do voices. It's what not hard. It's, it's impossible. Hard. <laughs> if you think you guys are doing well, haired let me work. tell you, it's hard. It's, it's haired. hard. It's Guys. haired. It's haired. It's hard. It's hard. You can't do it. It's impossible. I could never do voices. I, I, I'm a one trick pony, dick jokes. That's it. How are you, ladies? That's because you have none. <laughs> yes, we're great. Gino, tell everyone about the baby pool. Oh, it's it's getting some traction now. We're talking, we're talking. The winner's going to get a couple hundo easy. It is 10 bucks. Uh, you put the date, the we had broccoli, Rob. It was don't throw up on the stream. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, you put the date, the weight, and the time of birth. And ten bucks and five goes to uh, the baby, and the other five probably goes to Steve's baby because we're gonna keep it. I'm kidding. The other five goes to the winner, so it's it's uh, half to the winner, half to the uh, to to the adorable little bean. And you just Venmo um, at Gino Biscani with the date, weight, and time, and uh, we'll be talking about it in the upcoming weeks. But we're excited, and you look amazing, and people are already starting to treat your beautiful child to be just like a, a gambling prop. It's like ah. Uh, Keanu thinks the baby's gonna come out early because you're carrying so well, uh, so 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 big. But I said, uh, I think it's the opposite. 
because I think the kid is so ensconced, so entrenched in the in the happy little place that it is yes. inside you, listening to all there. that goes on in Shea Pellegrino. If I was oh. a kid, I wouldn't want to move. I wouldn't want to, like, let's say I was just sleeping peacefully on the couch and I didn't want to move. I just tried right, to think about it. He's yeah. half Italian and Italians really don't want to leave their moms. I'm ever. Telling, yeah. Oh. We we are notorious. You're looking at one of the biggest. We're notorious mama's boys. We do not want to leave sucking. I'm not a boy. <laughs> boy, oh boy. So, boy, but boy. but the thing about gambling is if it's born early, everyone will be like, yeah, see, Keanu was right. The baby couldn't wait to get out. But if it's, <gasps> if it's born like, you know, like in late uh, April, early May, I don't mean to terrify you, Chrissy. Early everyone will be like, May. no, Keanu was May. right. <laughs> Somebody said Keanu woke up that <laughs> I, I have a new commentary. guest. He'd have to be two weeks late to be early May. Well, I'm just trying to scare you a little bit. That just is trying scary. To, <laughs> just trying, just trying to in 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 uh, enhance the number of uh, the gambling odds. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. maybe May is. I mean, if you put May first and you didn't deliver till any time in May, and you're the only May, that's an easy that's easy money, Chrissy. I'm just telling the people it's like stealing. They would have to fill out a police report before they could collect the money because they were just. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're not stealing. At any rate, so yeah, that's the baby pool. We're very excited. You look amazing, ladies. It would have to be 12 oh, days cool. late to be born May 1st. <laughs> it's all you're thinking. <laughs> See, and now I put it in your head. Oh, now the late bets are coming in, people. I'm sorry. With her tiny frame, her entire abdomen will rip off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the <laughs> rhino breathing will commence until May, people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. My God. Oh my God. Body. People in the chat were two weeks late. It does happen. That's scary. I was two weeks early. Uh I think that was pretty see, much it. April 8th, eclipse baby. No. Yeah, April 8th is very early. That's basically one, two, three. My guess 11 days is early. My guess is uh is is four twenty Hitler's birthday, and the baby's gonna come out with his hand like this. I like, hope he comes out hiling. Hands gonna come out first, reaching for light. That's yeah, like we can't, <laughs> we can't get the baby to stop hiling. <laughs> you, you can't get the baby. I can't get the baby to stop hiling. Did you say crying? No, I said hiling. I said hiling. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, we offended Ashton. All right. <laughs> I know. I don't want four steps. I don't want right back. I don't want any. Uh, I don't want anything to hurt his little head. No. Oh. Baby, I'm walking all your. Oh, there she is. I thought we You're lost you, Ashley. Everyone. People are always losing me. I oh. lost myself. <laughs> it's all good. Gino, tell people what's coming up for you this week. Uh, this week, this uh, in hot water. Just a fun week. Uh, but I'm very excited because one of our regular uh, guests, his name is Rick Monroe of Rick Monroe and the Hitmen. He's actually in town in New York uh, with his bass player doing some business. So he's coming by my show live Thursday to perform. And then Ooh. on Saturday night, me and Keanu, are you going to be there? We're doing three monkeys and he's going to wrap up the show doing a little acoustic set with his bass player on Saturday. So on Saturday. I'm very excited oh. about that. Oh, you have a busy weekend then. It's a fun week. It's a fun week. So you'll be, we'll be doing Pennsylvania on Friday. Yes. Yes. Are we, we're doing, so we're doing that with you. The, uh, yeah. the, uh, God, the laughing stock comedy club. Laughing stock. Okay yes. Yeah. And you'll have a room in the hotel. <laughs> It'd be great. It's with with uh is Rich Carucci on that gig? I don't know if him or Jeffrey Paul are. I mean, I love Jeffrey Paul too, but Rich Carucci is just just a fun. He's he's We've one of the that. funnest We've guys. Yeah. Before. yeah. Rich Carucci has a joke. He says he works for the Parks Commission now. And he's like, I'm mostly doing stuff I had to do for community service when I got arrested. And when I <laughs> applied for the job, when I, he goes, when I applied for the job, they said, you seem to have a police record here. He said, I have 500 hours of work experience. Uh -huh. I, I think that is so That's funny. That's great. All right. That's so, yeah, great. I'll be with you on Friday, which is always fun. And Saturday, yeah. we're going to be doing hanging out with the band and just in hot water all week. You know, I love that stuff. Who do you have? A, and then Monday, you got the wet spot, right? You're still Monday. showing up. Tomorrow is wet spot. Uh, we got Karen Margolis tomorrow. Yay. Vic Cadano and Vinny Scarpa. I think they are Jersey comics, if I'm not mistaken. I know the name. 
Nine. And then I'll be at the Three Monkeys tomorrow. Aww, I will Steven be Mason's as well. Show. You doing Three Monkeys? You told. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I know. I'm so. Happy. <laughs> I knew that. I'll miss you. And so, mm. uh, Lila, you were so much fun on our show last week. You're Aww. so good to us. It was a blast. I miss you guys so much. Come back soon. I will be back. I'm sorry. We'll You'll be back, back with your all your Irish accent. That's not an accent. Yes. You're lying. You know, listen to this video. Practice because you're a hard worker. Hard worker. Oh, <laughs> walk down the road. Oh, you're wearing green now, aren't you, Keanu? I was a little bit cold. Oh, you were so a big t-shirt of my betrothed. Oh, you can feel the baby kicking. He's saying, Mar accents, Mar. Mar accents, Mar. Now, now I'm starting to think the baby can't wait to, it's like, I got to get out of this. <laughs> This hideous accent echo chamber. He's not kicking, he's hiling. (laughs) The baby. Cut it out, bitch. The the baby's done nothing but hearing me cackle for eight months. It's like, I'm tired of this woman. Please get me out of here. (laughs) He's not going to recognize my voice because I do so many amazing accents. So many. That video. Oh, really I, thought, I thought my mother was Irish. Irish? Delco Chris, Gino is doing a great sober accent. He is. He was completely dead asleep. And then oh, the cat. Yeah. Um, then for I five dollars. <laughs> You're all fabulous. Nice pregnant Chrissy oh. performed in all her peak hotness for a limited time only. Oh, wait. Dallas with a hoot, ladies. Thank you, Sam. Somebody said, say, uh, untoward. And toward, and and toward, and toward. You have too much Guinness. That's untoward. I and toward, and toward. <laughs> <laughs> it's very oh. untoward. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Hey, everyone. No, Lila. Did you tell the fine people where they can find you? Fine. You can find me at uh, lilahart <laughs> <laughs> dot com. Dot com. <laughs> Dot com. Dot com. You can find me at Lailheart.com. Dot com. Dot com. That's what you can find me at. That's how you talk in an Irish accent. You got to move your head like this. It makes it easier. Like it. Like I don't know why I'm doing this. And the word. Lailheart.com. Lailheart.com. The com. Not that arg. Dot com. That's adorable. Adorable. Uh, adorable. Adorable. The adorable car. Yeah, you're actually really good at it. The road. Keanu, what's in your cup? So what White I... claw. <laughs> <laughs> Lila got it. Uh, I love that you use it all the time. It, it has a king on it. It's a Stanley. It's a, on a road. road. Keanu, you're only two more Ks away from the special club. (laughs) From the Kardashian club? No. (laughs) The other one. No, the other one. (laughs) I I know the joke, but you know how I how they call it. It is Robert Kardashian's birthday, everyone. So Mm -hmm. um, Oh yes, the slap. Who's who's Robert? He's Guru. the baby brother of the Kardashians. Are you a brother? Really enough yeah. All the Kardashians. There's a brother? brother? Robert. Yes, exactly. There's a brother. He gets no, he's very fat <laughs> now and doesn't want to be on the scene. I don't pay attention to any of them. I forgot half their names sometimes. There I know Kylie's the, the one with the lips because she does sells mm-hmm. the lipstick. And mm-hmm. then Kim's the one who had the butt, no longer has the butt, was married to Kanye. Mm-hmm. And then I know there's a bunch of others. And they're all an Ozempic. They're all doing shots in their arse. Yes. I hate I hate Ozempic and as like a weight loss drug so much. It I gives you it. forever diarrhea. <laughs> no, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> Not just a little, forever. Wait, what do you guys think about Quiet On Set, Dan Schneider? I don't Who? know what that is. Oh, the Dan guy, Schneider. The guy that no, made Amanda guy. Bynes go crazy. The Nickelodeon what? guy. What happened there? Uh, he was touching them inappropriately. Inappropriately. Uh, inappropriately. Who say. was he touching? Lila, who was he touching? Amanda Bynes. Amanda, Amanda Bynes. You know, um, she yes, got herself into a real bind. 
Yes, Jeanette was- McCurdy came out and said that he that he did something to her. Jeanette yes. McCurdy, I he think. did something to her. He the last girl her. that with a face tattoo. He <laughs> met her in the road. The road. He did something bad. That ain't look. That that ain't but right. He had like, he had like a weird foot fetish thing because he would make all the girls do weird stuff with their feet. <laughs> yes. What did you call the shoes? And he got in a hot tub with her. What? Yes, there's a clip. Who is this person? Uh, okay, I'll send it to you. Yeah, Dan Schneider. He's the guy from Nickelodeon. Yes, it's it's trending on Twitter right now. Nickelodeon, it's trending. I think she's like a child. If you look at Amanda Bynes, you're like, something happened. Yeah. yeah. She I'll start you. drawing your eyebrows on with a sharpie. Okay, you know, perfect. I'm gonna send this to you guys. There you go. There we go. Is he a hard worker? Hard he work. Was, hard. He was getting hard and working at it. Mm. There is yeah. nothing crazier yeah. than someone doing oh, you first in a hot all, tub. Why, like, <laughs> this is a Dom Lucre tweet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you would call reputable sources. Let's watch the clip though. Play it for us. Let me see. He, only if he watermarked it. He didn't. Uh, here is footage of Nickelodeon's Dan Schneider in a jacuzzi with an underage man of binds along with other disturb. Is it really disturbing? Because it was really disturbing. I can't really play it. I, I think it's just this was played he's on Nickelodeon. Like, he's like fourteen in this, so he's fully dressed. Yes, in his it's shirt. Weird he's fourteen. He's this- wearing a button down in the in the. <laughs> but she's fourteen. This was played he did on watermark it. This he did watermark this video. Oh well, my it, god! It was on. Nickelodeon. It's not playing. This, this was a real video. <laughs> it actually, was I wanted you to play it. This was, this was on playing. the Amanda show, and the, here's the thing: she was 14, and he's like 40 here. <laughs> he is fully clothed. I he's know we were gonna lose. No, it's weird. No, I've said it once, I'll say it again. There's nothing creepier than anyone joining anyone in a hot tub. If you see somebody in a hot tub, don't say, may I join you? Just get out. It's it's, it's like taking a bath with someone. It it's is. Bizarre. Right. Get out of the tub. Get out of the tub. He, I can't believe he just wore his, his work shirt into the hot tub. And like, it- he, he would like, make he wrote girl trippy do- lines. Did you see the video of Ariana Grande on the bed and she's like pouring the water all over herself and Nickelodeon and saying, talking about doing a potato, feet, like putting ketchup on their feet and massaging ketchup into their feet? Like, Ew. and this was considered Nickelodeon comedy. Like, this was like on like TV when you're a kid watching, you're thinking, Oh, I, I, yeah. I, I love Nickelodeon, them, but like, <laughs> no, it's weird. It's it was so weird. Bring out the dancing lobsters. <laughs> Everyone's a pervert. A pervert. So <laughs> many perverts. Oh, yeah. Patrick. Patrick Who is for you? Okay. Said, <laughs> started you on this. <laughs> Saint Patty. He is March seventeenth or eighteenth, actually. <laughs> Italian, you know. <laughs> I'll be the old. I'll be the old Italian guy. You know he was an Italian. You know he was an he Italian. He wore work clothes in the hot tub because he's a hard worker. Hard worker. <laughs> Here's another Man. link. I found something, guys. I found it. I found another thing. <laughs> I'm doing research. Oh, good. Is this another video that won't play? <laughs> I hope it plays for you. This is important work. I don't think like this seems untoward. Like maybe not something I can play. Untoward. It was on Nickelodeon. It's it was not on untoward. Nickelodeon. I remember this. this. Is on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. It's not untoward. This was innocent. Now, th- now you have to watch it. And talk did about. I just flash my whole crotch to the? Game? I hope you did. I hope you did. You're a hard worker. <laughs> A hard worker. Let's see more hard work for my only fans. What can I say? This is um, link to my Ari- Twitter and Ariana Instagram. Grande. Yes. Have you ever said something like a sentence and thought to yourself, "Wow, like I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said." What that happens to me. Molded? So now, just for fun, I'm gonna say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before. In the history of mankind, this sentence number one. Aria. Oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See, that could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. 
<gasps> what? Yeah. So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Sentence oh, number three. Ah! I'm soaking wet. Quick, somebody bring me the ocean. No one would ever say that. Why? Because if you were soaking wet and you're upset about it, the last thing you'd want is for somebody to bring you the ocean. Because the ocean is yeah. even more wet than even the wettest person in the world. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Okay. This wow. is this was on Nickelodeon. This was all yeah. This is oh, like this is the potato one. This is the potato one. This juice one. from a potato. No, no, Ariana, no. no. <laughs> Ew. Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? No. Oh, okay. God. How about this? Thank you. Next. Uh, for for fuck's sake, <laughs> that's what that song was written this about. This was on Nickelodeon. <sighs> this is like oh Loki my kids God. Go to OnlyFans. Like Not this is a fourteen-year-old girl She's trying to drink water upside down. She could have drowned like that. Like she's fourteen <laughs> here. All I see is this has been me in a video. Oh, oh I'm uncomfortable. God. Holy sh no, shit. I'm uncomfortable. Okay. Twisted Harvey Weinstein fuck made her do all of that stuff. Jesus fucking Christ. That's what awful. on earth? And, oh my god. That was on Nickelodeon. Those were clips yeah. that were on that were just And her parents were like, yep. This is normal. Gotta get my kid famous. I remember being 14. Like, she knows. Do what you do you mean? mean? I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't don't... think. When I would... No. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was like, I grew up too fast or something. But I remember being 14. Like, she still looks 14. I don't know. Yeah, I guess if it was 14. She looks like 12 there. So that's why yeah. I'm like. She no, was for sure. I, I wouldn't even know at 12, probably. That's like stuff you don't think about. I didn't realize foot fetishes were a thing until college. So, like, <laughs> well, you know, when you I was a kid and I saw God. and I saw the feet on Nickelodeon as a kid, I'm like, oh, haha, ha, it's random. Because Nickelodeon comedy is like, oh, this is random. That makes no sense, kind of thing. And when you're a kid, you think, oh, haha, ha, feet are funny, feet are gross because feet stink. That's you think that's the joke, and you don't think about this stuff until later on. And you see these clips back up, and it's like, oh. Oh, this is weird. This is uncomfortable. I don't. It like is this. weird. It doesn't even make sense. The jokes don't make sense. It's like all very contrived and forced. And that was the bizarre. way they're having her hold the the water weenie and then the potato. It's like, <laughs> yeah, she's like holding a weird <laughs> green dick. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just so uncomfortable with that. Drink water upside. Oh my god, that sucks. And that this was, was like weird. the generation where our parents didn't monitor what we watched on TV either. That we were the generation that like our parents used the TV as the babysitter. They'd go, oh Nickelodeon, oh Disney Channel. There's nothing weird on here, you know. It's, it... and then you look back wow. at the clips and you're like, oh, this is very not. Uh, turn it off. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I watched that on television at the time. I didn't think anything of it. Because I myself was also like fourteen. If I, I like, was oh, four, because that show, I no, ex I'd be like, because Ariana Grande is a few yeah. years older than me. I think like when that specific clip came out, I must have been like thirteen or fourteen, or I must have been like maybe ten, and she would have been thirteen, fourteen when she I was, was Nickelodeon. Way done watching Nickelodeon when I was fourteen. Number one, I mean, like way done. Yeah, but but I think I was seen that at fourteen. Yeah, she must have been thirteen, fourteen then, because I would have been like ten. That's like when I stopped. Yeah, so I stopped watching it maybe in junior high. So I'm trying to think. Maybe that's when it happened. That is but, so bizarre. But that there was, was no really outrage back weird. then when it happened. Nobody said anything. People didn't think it was weird. Now all this stuff is coming out now, and you watch a lot of these old clips, and you're like, "Yeah, that was weird. How did people just get away with?" playing that because our parents didn't actually monitor what we watched on tv right. they were both busy working they were all things. working full time yeah and they were like, like oh, here's the name it's the tv that's why orlando from that so raven went so fucking crazy because he was getting touched too mm. who orlando from that the so brother raven. in that so raven right is that what it is is that who he is yeah, yeah. something like that yeah well, yeah, too like bad Raven didn't predict that future. 
<laughs> that's a uh, yikes. I just didn't realize Ariana Grande was that young uh, on TV. I mean, she got her big break on Broadway when she was like 11. Wow. There's a lot of a like I remember the Rugrats, SpongeBob, oh, SpongeBob's still one of my I haven't watched SpongeBob it wasn't originally written for no. kids though. They even no. talk about that. Right. It was like sort of a fluke but, thing. In fact, it was actually dirtier. I love it. Well, Rugrats, if you if you think of it, I'm not saying I don't quite remember, um, but it has a lot of adult jokes in it. A lot, a lot. Because I think that was built for like parents watching cartoons with their kids little kids who won't understand i don't have any problem with that although i'd have to like look into it but well, when, it's uh, the same thing with shrek right but that, that making a joke that only the parents can understand is a lot different than different having than physical 14 year olds play with their feet it's way different it's on their than toe. a cartoon yeah. character that's voiced by most likely an adult person. Oh no, what we just witnessed was complete and total bizarre that is completely it's called gross. grooming yeah, yeah that very was much bizarre. grooming. Right. There's a difference, a complete difference. Wow. You're right. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Well, I feel like I feel like our childhoods were snatched away from us. <clears throat> I never felt like a like a child. I still feel the exact same. I feel like point. yeah, my I feel like my childhood ended at like 14 for reasons I won't get into. But yeah. It's sad. Like you think about how young 14 actually is, but then like like you're a kid. You're very much a kid. Right. And she looks like she still looks the same. Like she's like always been sort of an adult child. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know. That was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. That was the first time you guys saw that? I never yes! saw it in my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's this is part of the 2020 stuff I was researching. But now it's all coming back to light, which is great. Wild. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. That's very unfortunate. That's very Sorry. unfortunate. Hi. Harry unfortunate. No. That Harry Not Weinstein nice. was a hard worker. Hard worker, that Harvey. Not even an Irish accent can tear me up. <laughs> that very no 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 I don't know how to do that now. Oh god. I, I Oi. Oi. Oiled him up. What in the name of Pete was Harvey Weinstein doing to that last? That poor little girl. That poor little girl. He said, here, have a potato. <laughs> Normally, when I was a child, all we had to play with were potatoes. Yes. But we weren't doing sexual stuff with it. We had no problem squishing them with our hands. I said, can, I, can we eat this one? She said, no, <laughs> that's your toy potato. Does someone say uvula in an Irish accent? You are Yovula. Go to lilaheart.com. Lilaheart.com. Do I look like that guy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm talking about? No. Come no. on, you guys. No, what is no this idea. Song? Like what I really? No. no. A Dalmatian? I it's don't a, think it's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's from a board game. Come on. The Monopoly no, man? The Monopoly guy with a monocle? <laughs> yes. How did I know That's that? That's a great wow. Harry impression. <laughs> I was, no, I was like no, that we guy. Were so hard. We had no toys. We had to just play with our own hair. <laughs> it, it was so ridiculous that I didn't. I My first instinct was that she was doing a monocle. Yeah. But I didn't even want to say it. But she meant, yes, it's, you meant a monocle, correct? One time I played uh, Monopoly for like 18 hours with my friend. And then at the end of the game, we both confessed that we were cheating the whole time. That's why it was going on for so fucking long. Oh, my God. It was an 18-hour game. How do you cheat on Monopoly? Yeah. You just steal money. Oh, my steal God. Money and then you never run out of money when you have to, like, pay the bank and all that shit. We would you just steal money when the other one wasn't really looking. take that long are, like, risk. Risk takes forever. Uh, Like, hours. And Clue. Oi, Ashton. She's got to go. Oh, yeah, Ashton. Ash wait, Clue. Ashton left us. Ashton. No, oh, don't go Ashton. yet. Ashton, come back. Oh, come back. back to us. Come Ashton, back to us. Bring back. Can Ashton, you Ashton you back. She took her cleavage and left. Yes, bring your boots. Don't boobs. leave us. Come back to us. Come back. Don't go. Don't go. Oi, thank God she's back. 
Ah, oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I feel <laughs> like I've been trying to wrap this show up, but I just can't. You mentioned risk. Sorry. Okay, yeah. I, can't, I can't do it. Okay. Sorry. I, sorry I brought up that weird I... stuff. I couldn't help it. No, I'm in a it weird, weird place. Too. It was interesting. It was <laughs> Thank God you're good the boy. I'm very disturbing. <laughs> You, are you um, going to squeeze a potato? No. Mm, I'll do it for OnlyFans. How about that? You should. Hi. Huh? Yeah. Only spuds. Okay. Only spuds. Lila. Um, yes. com. LilaHeart.com. L- Love Lila Heart on I Twitter. Yes. <laughs> Keanu Thompson, where can people find you? Listen to Grow Keanu Cast Tuesday, oh, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday live on YouTube. I'll be at, I'll be at Three Monkeys on Monday, and I believe with you this weekend in the yes. in a much of a call Friday at the Laughing Stock in Grand Friday Laughing. at the Laughing Stock. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be great. Yes, Ashton, where can the fine people find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram as the Ashton Blaze, and if you want any other links, you can find the links there on Twitter, Instagram. I don't want to say my spicy link because I don't want Christy to get in trouble. So it's too late. I'm already in trouble from playing that potato <laughs> video. <laughs> I you can't be. If you want more potato videos without the potato, please go check out the spicy link on my Instagram and Twitter. Oh God, she's gone again. <laughs> oh, and just like she's that, she's really keeping us on our toes. She keep her toes. The toes. <laughs> Ashton, this is the last time I'm letting you back on. I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening. I think, what are you, are you doing something? Yes, no, blame it on the cat. <laughs> um, my God, I have such a week coming up. We got Wet Spot tomorrow, of course, <laughs> on Compound Media at 7. And then the Three Monkeys show in New York City. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing Akira the Dawn Tuesday at 5. Um, I'm going to be on uh, Nina Infinity's podcast on Wednesday. I'm going to be Interviewing E Rock. Ooh, Eric Nagel, Wednesday at 10. Um, then I have an oh. ultrasound. And then I'm headlining in Granville, Pennsylvania this Friday. And yeah, it's going to be a fun time. A fun oh, yeah, I've got to send my brother a birthday card. It's his, When's birthday. his birthday. Sunday. Hmm. He's, an Ar- He's an Aries. Which is it's why I feel the way I do about Aries. <laughs> he's all right. He's just, he's meh. Okay. That was fun, guys. She's in meh. He's meh. He, he, right he, yeah. He said, did she say no? About. He's, not, he's not particularly, like, impressive. Get him he's a tall fine. hat. <laughs> what? Get him a top hat. I'll have to get him a top hat. Get him a top hat. I kiss the Blarney Stone. Yes, I'll have to send him the surfer hand as a present. Oh yeah, the because he gave me this. <laughs> oh boy, it's fun. It's fun, fun. All right, thank you to the chat for your comments and questions. This was ha- hope everybody had a happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. I did. Lloyd is bringing her camera very close. <laughs> oh, my eyes. Hi guys. Yeah. Her eyes are smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you guys. We will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.